yourself a very little Christmas. He's not drinking Sprite, and we're never turning on the dining room light. Have yourself. Yes, he's happy gay From now on you should be sending fish fillets Here we hope for the olden days Happy golden days before Yes, he's happy gay From now on you should be sending fish fillets Have yourself a very little Christmas now Merry Christmas, ya jagos. Nothing's coming out. Be kind. gentlemen to another beautiful lovable 12 2023 merry christmas eve perry caravel alive Woo-hoo! it's a beautiful day it's a little uh hazy outside right now a little kind of foggy the screen says it's uh, sunny and uh 54 but it's actually kind of foggy outside so uh and, and still real cool out there as well. But um, 
yeah, I'm looking for a, a beautiful uh, day and a beautiful stream. I have a family get together uh, this uh, this uh, mid afternoon. I have a get together with uh, some old old uh, distant cousins of uh, ours and uh, out there in the uh, somewhere over there at a restaurant out there. You know, so uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna spend the uh, uh, late afternoon and evening with them. And uh, that's about it. So um, I hope everybody has a fantastic uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and a happy 2024 New Year's uh, celebration, get together, party, whatever. You know. Number one, no drinking and driving. Number two, no smoking and driving. Number three, no, no drug using and driving. Don't get messed up and get into a nasty accident okay not just me but i mean everybody don't 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 do that to yourselves or to anybody else you don't want to nobody wants to have auto accidents happen drive safe drive safe drive safe slow down be be uh be level-headed and and calm behind the wheel you know don't go Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh wait, I gotta be somewhere like an hour ago, you know, and fly down the road. This is the holidays. We've got like ninety nine and nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine thousand million nine hundred ninety nine trillion whatever people in town right now. It's like three to seven times more people than the population here alone. It's insane. I went down the street a little earlier uh, uh, the other day, and, and I mean, just down the block to the grocery store, and I mean, the parking lot, trying to find a place to park in the parking lot was like going up and down each road, to park your car, and it was crazy. And then I started saying to myself, I've never seen this parking lot so full before. Even over the holidays, I've never seen it this full before. Back and forth, back and forth. Took a while to find a place to park, but I did. You know, went in and get a couple of things and then came back out, came back home. So my normal shopping rule is either early, early, early in the morning or late, late, late at night when you know people normally don't go shopping. You know, like when you first wake up or right before you go to bed, do your shopping at those hours. Because <clears throat> during the day, grocery stores, I mean, I used to work in the business for over a decade. Grocery stores just packed with people and the parking lots just packed with people and cars and and uh, rudeness and everything else that goes on uh, out there. And it just gets a little monotonous, a little insane. But hey. That's the way people are, and that's the way they think. So, anywho, uh, Merry Christmas, Barry. Oh, thank you. Can I turn this up a little bit? Yeah, but Talk I don't. I don't want it to get too echoey. I always get no e right. echo effect when uh, uh, the reason when I first come on, I get e it's echoey is because the microphone's adjusting to Perry's blaring speakers. And it takes a minute for that to uh, to adjust, uh, because we don't use uh, headphones. Because uh, right, that'd be kind of ridiculous. So, anyway, uh, by the way, uh, the reason why you were late coming on, I really wanted to be on right on time today. But the reason why, Perry, we all in the ways know that I have to take a dump sometime in the morning, and this was my morning dump. Well, that's from uh, sad to say, sad to say that this morning dump was a diarrhea dump. And I hope to God it's not going to be like this anymore today. OK, I don't uh, want to I don't want to be in the bathroom again with another diarrhea. Dump. None of us want that. And from the noise noises that I was hearing because I was, uh, you know, connected before the stream from the noises that I was hearing coming from that bathroom. It sounded like a rough session. Yeah, well. No comment to that, that's for sure. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to get into some things. It's, it's obviously a mailbag, you know. Uh, 
mailbag. Yeah, I got tons of mail. Christmas Eve Starting mailbag. With boxes. Christmas Eve theme. Got a little snow right. overlay going here. A little subtle. So, hey, Peter, you're finally in the snow. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I just thought it would be easy. Virtual is not real. Festive. Well, real snow is where I want to be. It's about as real as you're going to get. Uh, so hey. listen, not to not bring... Tomorrow. Yes? What? Uh, what I said saying? today, not tomorrow. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, listen, not to bring the uh, spirit of the holiday down at any at, at point, and uh, Perry did ask me not to bring this up on the air, but I, I have to bring, I have to bring this up. I have to bring this up. So, and Perry, don't, don't interrupt me. About. Just let me get this out, and then I, I'll give you, I'll turn it over to you, of course. Um. Now, this is Thursday, so after the last weather matters. Uh, I had to call Perry for something. Um, I forget exactly what it was for. Uh, something about him, you know, mailing out the stuff that he uh, people paid for. And, you know, that's been a, a, a huge task because you know we got to do it in small doses so things don't get messed up. And some things did get messed up. And blah blah. Anyway, uh, I call him, and this is Thursday afternoon for me, morning for him. And uh, it goes to the voicemail, and I was like, all right, you know, so I'll wait a little bit. Maybe he's not up yet. And then I get a text message Maybe from I'm him. in the shower, or maybe I'm on the road. No, no, neither one of those. And I call back, and he's like, what is it? Immediate attitude. And keep in mind, like, I, I called him after Weather Matters, and I said, hey, you did a great job. So we're not on bad terms or anything like that. I was like, what's the matter? I said, and, and there's a lot of noise in the background. I'm like... You know, you got to go to the post office today and mail out X, Y, Z. Uh, I was in. I was at the post office. Perry, again, I, I will tell you when it's your turn. Okay, sorry. Uh, and I said, "Where are you?" Never mind where I am. Goodbye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. don't hang up the phone. Where? Why, why, what's with the attitude? I'm busy. Do not bother me the rest of the day. Ciao. Doot doot. You know, hang complete hang up, and that that just sends, you know, my my uh, my spidey sense. You know, when the hairs on my arm start going up, I'm like, ooh, that's bad. Perry doesn't want me to know where he is. That means he's up to something sneaky. That means he's doing something that he doesn't want oh. me to know. Perry, your, your turn will come. Uh, so I'm just going to turn over the cards here, and I'm not going to string this along anymore. Uh, because I did find out where Perry was much later in the day uh, after the deed was done. And what was the deed? Well... If you've been following the car weeds with us, and I swear to God, I am not joking. I don't even know how I'm going to get this sentence out of my mouth. Perry put another $1,000 into his 2000 Toyota Corolla. Another thousand. Now, this is after the thousand he put in three weeks ago. And then after the 500 he put on. Uh, two weeks ago, this now brings our total to thirty-five hundred dollars. And if we add in the two thousand dollar tires he put on uh, in January, that tires brings a grand total. Struts. Excuse me, your turn will come. Your turn will come, sir. Uh, that is a grand total of five thousand five hundred dollars, fifty-five hundred dollars spent on the two thousand. Toyota Corolla in the course of one year. What say you, Perry? Here is now your turn. Tires went on, struts went on. That means front struts on the car, KYB struts went on the car, and tires, okay? That was that job, not just tires alone. That's where $2,000 came in, okay? That's that job. Uh, no, that you was last year when you got the... We, okay, I'm not talking about last year, uh, January, when you got the new tires. I'm talking about what did you tires spend... Tires and struts together. Okay, Perry, again, how, how fast do you go through struts? Didn't you just get struts now? Like, just now? Like, just a couple few weeks ago? No. Okay, uh, li uh, listen, I don't want to talk about the tires from last year. We, we, we've been through that. Not last year? You mean in January? Yeah, that's last year, Perry. I got news for you. January is two weeks away from being last year. Okay, so okay. You, you want to fight with me over You're that? Not, 2023 is not over yet. You still got seven Okay, days. so January. Okay, I'll say 11 months ago. What I want to yeah, know is, 
What did you spend? Because I still, I and I swear to God, I couldn't even transmission. Wait, service. wait, wait, Perry. Again, two people can't talk at once. I'm sorry. I'm going to give you your, your turn in one second. I'm just talking to the audience here, the people uh, watching this. Normally, I would make content out of this and like do like a phone call thing for Patreon. I couldn't even get in that mode. I was so knocked over. Like this was a gut punch. Like I, I was speechless. Now, and so I haven't really spoken to you since. Now, if you hear it in my voice, I'm just getting over a little bit of a thing. Uh, I, I caught a little virus from uh, Teddy Boy. But uh, Perry, I want to know what cost a thousand dollars on Thursday. Transmission service. The uh, the I forget what the name of those boots are for the trans front wheel drive transmission. I had to get those replaced. And a power steering hose was leaking, and I had to get that replaced. That was the thousand dollars. And and maintenance cost. So power steering and transmission stuff. Yeah. But not a transmission, like a transmission, like transmission fuel. Okay, okay. I'm not a car guy, so what was what about the transition? It was being serviced. Needed to be serviced. It hasn't been serviced in twenty some odd years. Never serviced my transmission. Yeah, before. I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, somebody out there can can tell me like what that would be. Like I don't know if that's legitimate or not. Like or what that would cost. But all I know legitimate. is legitimate. The the tranny boots were for, were freaking cracked after one hundred and twenty two thousand miles. They needed to be serviced. But didn't we have a conversation a few weeks ago? Like, not even a few. Like, but just... don't do anything to your car anymore. No, 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 no. You don't understand. It's my car. I make a good living. I am taking care. I mean, taking care of my car. It's not that old piece of shit Dodge that fucking broke down every two fucking seconds. This is my Toyota. You take care of your Toyota. It will last a lifetime. Basic maintenance, basic maintenance, and then I, I'm going to say this is basic maintenance, but, 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 this is the expensive department, your transmission, transmission service is not a cheap job to do, sometimes it runs into the thousands, sometimes, at least it's not a motor rebuild, that was even more money when I had a motor rebuild on my truck, God, all right. Um, first of all, basic maintenance for a 23-year-old car that has a blue book value of under $2,000 in prime condition, mind you. Basic maintenance for a car like that should not run you $3,500 within a three-week span. That's insane. That's insane to anybody. No comment. Because the fact is, is when you want your car to run, and it's going to run for life, like I am going to make my cars run for life, you take care of them. Sure. You don't yeah, run, it runs for life if you throw way, money at it. you. Oh, the car value of the car is not worth having. Bullshit. God almighty. Okay, look. Again... At the end of the day, it's your money, and you can do with it as you please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Nicest However, comment you ever made. What? Nicest comment you ever made. It's my money. I do with my money what I want to do with my money. Taking care of my car is very important to me, and I want my car to last. Yes, when you're driving, it needs to be serviced. I haven't serviced my transmission before. It's the first time I ever serviced the transmission on that vehicle. Okay. One hundred twenty-two thousand. It's a twenty-three-year-old car with less than uh, ten thousand a year or ten thousand miles a year on it. I got one hundred twenty-two, uh, just around one hundred twenty-two thousand miles on it, and now I need tranny boots. Got tranny boots done. Normally, you would need tranny boots after fifty thousand miles, not a hundred thousand miles. I doubled it. And went over a hundred thousand miles to get transmission boots. Okay. So uh, this this car is lasting me really, really well. 
Because normally those boots would have been re would have been replaced about five years ago. Okay, can I just touch on a few points? Go ahead. Okay, uh, first of all, what you're talking about is now going above and beyond basic maintenance. Now, basic maintenance, things that are in that category, Perry, just let me get it out, okay? And you can disagree with me and you'll have your turn. Um, and by the way, this, this shows my stupidity because I think what I'm gonna say here is gonna make a difference, it's not. Okay, but I'm gonna say it anyway for my own sanity. Uh, basic maintenance is like an oil change, you know, tire rotation, uh, you know, replace a tube here, a tube there. Uh, okay, um, you know, yeah, steering wheel fluid, whatever. Okay, I'm, again, I'm not a mechanic. Th that to me covers the basic maintenance category. And basic maintenance also comes in at a certain dollar point threshold where it's, you know, palatable for a person to smoke. Okay, I had a take my car in, you'll get your turn, sir. Uh, I had to take my car in and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks, whatever, this, this, that, or the other thing, that's basic maintenance. What you're talking about is you're getting a complete overhaul on this car, like you're getting like, Perry, please don't shake your head. Well, you can shake your head, just don't say anything. Uh, you're yeah. getting like major stuff done for $3,500. That's not basic maintenance, that's over the cost of basic maintenance. Now, as I explained to you the last time, you're right. As I explained to you the last time, thank you for telling me I'm right. Uh, there is, there's just a, a common sense thing here where, and I told you flat out what your car was like. I didn't make that up, okay? Your car, the 2000 Toyota Corolla was worth on every list, Kelly Blue Book, you know, whatever, in as long as it's in absolute prime condition, the best you could hope to get out of it is $2,000. That's the best, that's what the car's worth. Now, again, I don't need to be a car guy to have the common sense to think that you don't put more money into a car than what it's worth, okay? We're not talking about a, you know, a 69 uh, Mustang that you're restoring or something like that. This is a daily driver get around town car that you've used for a very long time and your mom used it for a long time before you. So mm -hmm. this is not a car that you're going to put excess. It's not, it's not like a collectible car. Like, oh, man, I, I wish I can get a 2000 Corolla. That's the best. Now, Toy you're right. Toyotas are a great cars, and they, they could last a lifetime. They could, okay? But twenty the 20-year 20 mark is pushing it. Please close your lips until I'm done. Uh, the 20-year mark is pushing it for any vehicle, any modern era vehicle. Uh, and we agreed that the last time this came up, after you spent the thousand dollars, we agreed that you wouldn't be well. First of all, you wouldn't be going to that mechanic anymore, and second of all, you wouldn't be putting any more money into the car. Then a week later, less than a week later, you put in an additional fifteen hundred because of God knows what. I don't remember off the top of my head. And then that's two weeks ago now, and now two weeks later, here we are, and you're putting in another thousand. Did something go? And I and by the way, I am beyond happy that you have the money to address these things, uh, that you, 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 you're right, you do make a good living, okay? And you can spend your money as you want to. Isn't it a nice feeling to have a, a Finally. To, to be able to yes. drop $3,500? By the way, I can't drop $3,500 in a three week period on a car. I'm glad that you can, I really am. And I, I'm not saying that uh, ironically or sarcastically at all. I, I am glad that you are in that position. Um, however, you could have taken that $3,500 and put it towards something better. Something like, you could have bought, for $3,500, you could have bought a decent used car that came out in the past decade, probably, or at least get real close to it, uh, or down payment on a new car. Uh, now, I, I had the same thing a couple of weeks ago, so I don't want to repeat myself, but now that we're at the $3,500, or $5,500 if we include the tire, the tire thing from last year. Tires and struts. It's it's a lot, man, and uh, I just. Well, I felt... I'll, you know what? If you want to add up from January to December the amount of money I've spent on that car, yeah, you're right. I I could have just said, uh, look, just why am I doing this? Why don't I just get another Corolla? Right. But uh, or, or a Camry. Right. Or a, 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 you can get a. a, a 
what's that cro that Toyota Corolla? Because my dad's looking at one, the Toyota Corolla Cross, whatever the yeah, that, exactly. That's that's twenty nine thousand. I know. Okay, so that's so so thirty five hundred is a pretty good down payment. And then you could be looking at paying like something like let's say like three hundred something a month, and then you, you you now have a brand new car. I mean, I I just don't get it. I I just and, and I don't mean to like. I don't want to, you know, it's Christmas Eve and everything, so I don't want to spend all stream on this, but I really was at a loss uh, on this one. Like, I, I just, like, man. I, and, and yeah, luckily you have the money to cover it, but when is enough enough? We had the conversation. I, Did you, okay, here's my question is, to this you. Is, this is where enough is enough, because this is the major job that this car hasn't had done to it yet. Transmission service. I never did anything to the transmission before. Okay, but you okay. said that this was twenty three years. I've, I've, mom and I have had this vehicle. We never did any tranny service on this thing. Okay. All right. The first time it ever had transmission service done. That's where the cost. Okay, was but did you think? Did you think at all? Like when? Like man, this is a lot to be spending on an, a very old car in the course of three weeks. Did you? Did that cross uh, your mind? I didn't. I wasn't thinking that that thought of a lot of money spent in three weeks. My thought was make sure this car runs correctly. That's my thought, and uh, the the problem that it had, the the uh, tranny boots were cracked. Both of them. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, 23 years later, they're bound to get cracked. <laughs> By now, yeah, they should have been. They should have cracked about five, ten years ago. All right. So two two more points I want to make. Did you think about the fact that you're not going to be streaming? Like January is like. That's why I made sure I had the car done now, because we're going to be uh, off the air for a month. Right, but that all being off the air off, off for a month also means you're not, not getting having revenue a from it. For a month would not be fun. So I made sure the vehicle was ready now, and I also need to have a vehicle to pick up uh, Bob when he gets to town. So. Okay, you know what? I don't think Bob would want you to uh, spend a thousand dollars unnecessarily. I think you could get a cab, you know, if, if it came down to it. I'm just saying, it's just like it, it's just such a frivolous thing, and, and you don't get it. But what made you bring the the car? Oh, by the way, I should say uh, there's a major point to this story. You didn't even go to your uh, old mechanic. You went to a new place. No, I went straight to Firestone. But what made you go on your own to do this? What do you mean on my own? It's my car. Okay, I've on your own. What made you years. think to take your car in after you just spent $2,500 passing the smog and everything else? What made you then go because, in on Thursday? Uh, my tranny boots were leaking and I had no oil in the crankcase. So after no, you spent I, I, had, thought, I had a half a quart of oil in the crankcase when you're supposed to have four quarts of oil in the crankcase. Hold on a second. When that was done too, I had the oil change. Rather that's, than that's my whole point. My so completely. so after that other mechanic fleeced you for twenty five hundred, they, they didn't even uh, give you an oil change after spending all that money. That, that was the oil change was a different uh, thing. No, there was no oil change on that. <laughs> oh my god, that was a different job altogether. Okay, so uh, I I don't know really what to say here except that, you know, uh, I got the car fixed. Period. Fixed. Finally maintained to a T. Well, it's like I told you, Perry. And this, this is this is really what it comes down to for me. When yes, you... it was expensive. The maintenance was extremely expensive. I will admit it was a lot of money to maintain this car in the past 12 months. Too much All money. Right? And okay, $3,500 or, or I'm going to say $5,000 for two major expenses, front, you know, front KYB struts and tires. Boom! That's that's a two two grand job right there. Then then the uh, power steering hose and then the uh, the tranny boots was another grand. Uh, or, or, or what was it, another grand or or more? I don't remember how exactly. I get the pile. 
but or it's in the car with the other. Uh, All right. Well, listen. Players. Here's my point, and this goes for any old car. Okay, you don't need to know about cars to to to, to have this thing because I had the same situation as you, um, where I'm driving an older car that my mom used to own, and things go wrong. And when something goes wrong with the car, like for I mean, I'll use myself as an example. So back in June, uh, you hired this uh, the Caravillo Kings to come to my place and steal my catalytic converter. I don't know if you were trying to play a joke. Or I something. never hired anybody to do that. You lying bastard. Okay, well that's what they said. Yeah, because they're fucking liars, old punks. Okay, well, okay. Regardless, I hired the Caravillo Kings to steal your. Your the to, to fucking saw off your goddamn catalytic converter. Those guys are a bunch of assholes. I agree. I want nothing to do with those jag. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. But Stupid regardless punks. of that, the catalytic converter was stolen. Okay, and that's a big problem that's around the country. I'm not. I'm not unique to that. And I, and I, I I'm, I'm saddened to you that uh, they, they robbed you of a catalytic converter. Right. I'm well, very sorry. <laughs> I accept your apology. But here's the other thing that I'm sorry about. The people that stole your catalytic converter told you they stole your catalytic converter. Right. You should have anyway, them all thrown in jail, the asshole. I agree, but let me get to the point. I, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. The point is, I was faced with a dilemma, you know, because that car was, I think, a 20, uh, 2000, uh, 2004, right? And so it's almost a 20 year old car. And I was like, well, here, here's the, the, the price for the new catalytic converter was something in the neighborhood of 1600, I believe, you know, plus all in, you know, including the maintenance and all that and the, uh, you know, the, whatever, the labor. And I said to myself, you know, this is a, I'm taking a gamble here because if I spend this, this is a good amount. I need this car to last me about a year or so, and then I'll hopefully be in a better position to get a, a, another car. But right now, I'm not in that position, and I need this car to get me by a year. So I took the gamble. The gamble is, you can pay 1600 for this car now, but if something else goes wrong with an old car, as things usually do, uh, then you're effed, because then, you're, then you can't really move past that point, because then it's insanity. Because even that, and that car, I forget what the, the value was on that car, but, you know, there comes a certain point where it, it doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't matter, like, how much uh, the car's worth. It's just, you know. Another expense. Exactly. Yeah, another expense. Another, it, it's another expense, and it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Uh, and the other thing, it, it's just... Uh, that's why I will only drive Toyotas. Right. Okay. Anyway, the, the bottom line is, I took a gamble and I lost because the car event, the car recently died, and and it, it's it's to the point now where I can't. It, it's over. So I lost the gamble. I should have done what I could to get some kind of used car, or whatever. I should have. I lost the gamble. Okay. And when you originally put in that one thousand dollars to your mechanic, that's also a gamble. That's a that's a lot of money. You're putting in basically half the value of the car, and if something happened past that point, you like you, you got to suck it up at some point. Like, ah, you know what? I lost the gamble, and here now you are at like what we said, five thousand dollars into this car in less than a year's time. It, that's a lot. And yeah, and by the way, all the people saying to move on, you know, if you don't like it, tune, go go watch somebody else uh, Christmas Eve stream. Okay, this is this is uh, important PCL news. Uh, this you know, is a come, very important yeah, thing to talk. Come about come, right come now. back later if you want uh, mailbag, uh, or, or get your own stream to direct. Uh, the the whole thing is you should have said to yourself the other day, you know, with a thousand dollars, I eat shit. You know what? This is too much. I got to take. I got to hold this L. I got to hold this loss. I gotta take this loss and move on uh, to something else before it gets worse. Because now anything can happen now I mean, with this thing. It's like this car is like now Frankenstein. It's like any part can go wrong. And then what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep throwing money into it? Like how much is enough? The two repairs that were just done on the car, the tranny boots and the, and the power steering hose was never done before. It's a 23, 24-year-old car. 
those two those two items were never d- touched in 24 years. So yeah, it's it's uh, the the replacement of those two things were needed. Now it'll last another 24 years. I hope you're lying, Perry, because obviously nothing lasted you 24 years. Because look at all the maintenance you've had to do, and and I say maintenance uh, lightly. Different maintenance, different different types of exp- different types of repairs. Yeah, I know, Perry. Different yeah, anything will last you 20 plus years if you put an ungodly amount of money into it for brand new parts. I mean, if you take care of it. That's not, that's not, yes. no no no. You are no longer taking care of it. You're now getting fleeced and putting more money into the car than it's worth when you should have just moved on to another car. So. Without going in circles, are we going to make an on-air agreement right now, even though it's not going to mean anything, that you're done putting money into this? Like, like if something else I'm happens, done, and I mean a major thing, let's major, say... I'm done. Let, let, hopefully I'm done. Please. Hopefully I am done with major repairs. Basic maintenance is, uh, you know, typical oil changes now. That's like every three months. Okay, that's different. That's maintenance. I'm talking about are we done with major repairs? Are we done with things that cost hopefully, more than three? Hope no, God not hopefully. Done. Either we are or we aren't. Not hopefully. I swear to God, I hope to die. Perry, if, if, if something happens to this car where it's not starting or something, and you take it to a mechanic and they say this is going to cost $500, that's the point where you say forget it and move on because you foolishly put more money into it and then something else always goes wrong and then you're just chasing repairs. Okay, so the next time that happens, you got to say forget it and say goodbye to the car, and you got to eat the yeah, loss. Yeah, well, that's the next time, but there's not going to be another next time. Okay, you said that you said that two weeks ago, and look, look what look what happened. There was a next no, time. No, because of the type of repair. God, you don't understand repairs. No, I I don't. I, forget about the repairs. I understand cars, wasting money. Mine. You said now I'm done two weeks ago. Now I'm done. Uh, we're 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 over it. There's not going to be any more repairs. Now it's gonna because you believe in magic. You believe in magic. Just, it's like your garbage disposal. You this believe is in not magic. magic. This is called this is called major repair that was never touched before. I know. But again, Perry, when is enough enough? How much more money This is the this is the end. This is the end. Okay, so are you gonna are you gonna agree on that? So if you get another charge, if if and by the way, you bring the car in, don't say that just ask what the, the fee is before you get charged for it. Okay? And then the next time this happens, if it's five hundred or more, you got to walk away from the car. Do we agree with that? Five hundred, five hundred dollars. Uh, like, okay. What I just did was a power steering hose and transmission service. Transmission, front wheel drive transmission service. That has never. I mean, in twenty four years, twenty. 23 years, 11 months. Yeah. The two jobs were never done before. I never had a power steering hose ever put on the car. Never did any. any, uh, any I'm not talking about to rehashing what you did. What's done is done. Okay. You, you, we can't, we can't you. unring that bell. You, no. you, you spent another thousand dollars on it and it, it's insane. But that's what's my point is if you if something else happens to this car, I mean, something that you didn't just do in the past three weeks, something new, and that price to fix it is 500 or more, you no need more. to say no. Then, then we're done. We're done. Okay. Then we're done. Okay. That, that's what I, that, I mean, you're not going to remember this conversation, but I'm going to remind you of No, it. then we're done. All right. Okay. But, the, but if it means then we're done, then, then, then I don't have a car for until I can get another one. You're right. That's what happens. Right. Yes, that, you're right. So you might be waking up, waiting a week or two and you get a new car. That, that's, that's how things go. You're right. I got a bike. I got skateboards. There you go. Okay. But, Barry, I was just very disappointed in that. Uh, I, I really don't like it when you're taken advantage of. And I just feel like you were really taken advantage in the past three weeks. Uh, $3,500 in your mom's 2000 Corolla is insanity within a three week span. But uh, hey, you know what? Thanks to this stream, PCL, and the people watching, and the people who contribute, you were able to thank afford you. it. So why don't you thank them? Thank you. Thank you to all the fans that helped pay for my bills and pay for the stream to happen, as well as keep my car running and, and my uh, roof over my head and food in my stomach and my other bills paid. 
Thank you, folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for helping with with my expenses. Thank you. And, and hopefully this is the end of uh, car weeds because I, I can't handle no more, Perry. And again, you got to be honest with me. You you were sneaky on that phone call. You didn't want me to know that you were going there. Not that I need to be involved in every little thing that you do, but you know what? You need to at least tell me if you're if you're going to be paying that much for the car because I I'd, I'd like to be able to advise you just a little bit. I didn't know that I was going to be paying that much until I, until all of a sudden what happened happened. Right. Well, they don't they give you an estimate That's before you on commit... the internet. The boots are only thirteen dollars a piece. Hey Perry. What? That's just the boots alone. Perry, I want to get away from this. So let me just say, don't they give you an estimate? Like when I go to a mechanic, he gives me an estimate. Like this is what it's going to sure. cost to fix it. Do you want to pay it? Not. They don't just do the work and say this is the bill. Well, when you. When the job was as serious as mine was, that that's why uh, I said just do the work. Wait, so did they give you an estimate before you paid? That's yeah. Estimate. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to move on. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, whatever offer comes up either today, and by the way, there's only one more stream uh, this year after this, and that is PCL's uh, New Year's Bop and Eve, which is a week from today. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. December thirty first at seven p.m. Pacific time. Okay. Uh, that's so. Uh, any offer that comes in, uh, you need to uh, you really need to accept. I don't want to hear uh, any uh, BS. Okay. I hope they are respectful offers because uh, they uh, won't be. I guarantee you right now they won't be. They'll be silly, ridiculous offers that you hate. Thanks. Anyway. Uh, and by the way, there may or may not be a pop-up stream before New Year's, like maybe next, uh, this coming uh, Friday or Saturday, maybe. And it won't be announced and it won't be uh, promoted at all. It'll just happen if it happens. So make sure, you know, you're, you know, Twitch and YouTube, you're subscribed. If you're on YouTube, you hit the notification bell. And by the way, YouTube, wake up, okay? 168 views with uh, over 600 people watching. Terrible view to like ratio. Perry, you tell them to like this uh, video, please. Guys, like this uh, video on YouTube, please. Like it on uh, like it on all the channels. My God, YouTube is, is the main one that we need you to like it on. But like it on every channel that you go, go to on the internet. YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, Zoom. And just YouTube. Uh, YouTube is the only one I care about with likes. Just like the stream on YouTube, please. Okay. Like it on YouTube, please. All right. Now, let's get to some uh, Christmas Eve mailbag, please, if you could. All right. I got, I got boxes here, like, all over the place. Yeah. Let's get this knife and open the box. Ugh. Thank you. A receipt. No letter. There's all this shit. You go there. You go there. Okay, there's there's the letter. What? Barry. I know how much you love fondling, fondling little balls. Oh, shove it up your ass, you fuck. Uh, now you can fondle hand, handfuls of them. Enjoy the real Yergi from the real Yergi. Please. Oh, God. More crap I got to open.
Okay. I don't want a freaking entire box of stupid marbles. I don't need this crap. Marbles, marbles, marbles. All they are is a bunch of freaking marbles. I don't want this garbage. Is there a note with that, Perry? I just read you the note. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. What did it say? Yergi said that uh, he's sending me balls. Okay. I don't want them. Bag of little balls, and these are big balls. Don't want them. All right, grab another mailbag. Okay, you go there. You go in here. It's garbage. Go traditional. Thank you. Uh, you're going to show it to the stream, Perry? That wasn't just for you to see. Hang on. I'm not done yet. Mr. Caravello, as the leading Italian streamer, please accept our gift of uh, traditional sauce. Please use this to simmer your sausages instead of cooking them. In sausage grease. I don't cook my sausage in sausage grease. Love this. Uh, love this dick from Prego Italian Sausages. Or, or love that dick from a... Whatever. Love that dick from Prego Italian Sausages. I, I'm not that kind of guy. You pervs. But uh, here's a bottle of Prego sauce. And yeah, when I make sausage and pasta, I'll put it. I'll use uh, Prego on the next. Uh, don't don't the next put the Prego time. back in the box. Get rid of the box. I'm Actually, no, save all box. boxes because you do have some more stuff to send out. Save all boxes. Don't throw them away. I got more boxes than I need. You, dude. No, you don't. Because then, then when you don't, uh, like the other day when you forgot to bring a box to mail, you had to go buy a box. So. Oh, because the box that I had to buy was a box that was the size for the item rather than uh, the boxes that I have. Right, but you can make those boxes work, what I'm saying, without spending money what? on boxes because then you're costing yourself money. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll shift. Okay, because uh, like that skeleton you got on my couch, there's no box that will fit that freaking body in. That's a specialty item. And this is garbage. This is absolute trash. Okay? I don't want it. I'm not eating it. I'm not doing a damn thing with it. And, oh, it's from Whitney Cummings, of course. Oh, God, baby, it's Whitney. Yeah. I don't know why you're sending me uh, mayonnaise. I'm sending you this mayo because I love cum. I love cum all over me. I, okay, I love cum all over me, inside me, and in my hair. I want your cum. Most of all, please spread this mayo all over your body like the cum I love from Whitney Cummings. That will never happen. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, dear. Thank you. I'm not putting this on my body. It wasn't garbage. 
All right, Perry, let me uh, get to a couple of Tom's tips that came in. Remember, if you'd like to send in a Tom's tips, which are tips read by me, Tom. Oh, that's not the plugs. Uh, that would be here. PCL offers at gmail.com, and you'll talk to Jim, and he'll uh, walk you through it very easy. Uh, or uh, Jim PCL in the Twitch chat. Okay, here is our first one from our friend, Sketch317. Happy holidays, PCL community. Merry Christmas, Tom. Merry Christmas to you, Sketch. And Merry whatever that gypsy equivalent of Christmas is to you, Perry. Well, Perry, Perry you're celebrating Christmas, right? You're going out to a Christmas Eve dinner and uh, everything, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perry's in a Christmas spirit. Anyway, he goes on to say, Listen, Perry, I've been talking with Jim for the past couple of weeks, and he's given me the go-ahead to buy a plane ticket to show up to your place for the New Year's Eve stream. I'm really excited. Don't worry though, I won't be staying long. Jim and I thought it would be cool if I was there in person while Bob Levy signed my grocery store certificate that I bought. You are not taking a goddamn grocery store certificate off of my motherfucking wall that I earned in my fucking school. God damn you, fuck you. You're not allowed in my house, you motherfucker. Don't worry, Francis. Son of a fucking bitch! And I'll never be left out of my fucking home with my name on it, you fuck! Get out of my stream! Don't worry, Francis. I'll make sure to bring you six tins of popcorn and lube for your New Year's Eve party with Bob and Soviet Goat. Men holding hands. Cheers from Canada. <laughs> fuck! Uh, this no, next no. one is from Shiba. S H I B A. Shiba. Tom's tip. Uh, quick question, Perry. Did your mechanic boyfriend tell you that you were always a sucker for sweet talk? The fuck are you talking about? Luke? Did your mechanic boyfriend tell you that you're always a sucker for sweet talk? So all the excuses you were giving about why you had to put in there is that what your mechanic told you? No, I'm not a sucker for your moronic remarks. Hmm. Okay. It's an old car. Yes. It's a car that's got a lot of miles on it. Yes. Actually, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it. It's a car that's been around for 24 years. And it, in two weeks, it'll be 24 years that that car's been around. Okay? Yeah. Two weeks, 24 years. Okay. Never have I ever had any transmission issues in the 24 years of uh, having that car in my life. All right. Listen, we're moving on from that. Uh, I got another thing here. This is a special one. This is a special Christmas, we'll call it a poem, but you know, you ever hear of the, the night before Christmas, like the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, that kind of thing, right? Go on. So our good friends, Colleen and Terry. Now, Colleen is the very talented artist. She sent in many things over the years. Uh, she did the Best Friends painting, the one where you were featured as Jamba the Hutt, that was prominently displayed in your home for uh, for a good while. You mailed it out. You don't have it. But oh. It used to be there. Anyway, uh, she composed this lovely uh, Night Before Christmas, uh, but... Uh, a parody version, and it's called A Visit from Randy Calaclaws, and uh, requested that I would do it in a like kind of old English style, so I'm going to have some music accompaniment here, Perry, for this one. I would uh, very much appreciate it. It's a lot to get through. I'd very much appreciate it if you didn't interrupt me and you waited until after I was done. You can react to it, you know, facially, but uh, don't verbally interrupt me because this, this one is a, a bit of a mouthful, okay? And I'm going to play a little jingly music behind it. Okay, thumbs up. I'll wait till you're done bopping. Can I begin? Mm-hmm. A visit from Randy Calaclaws. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through Reseta, a man-baby was screaming for some chick named Gina. Eggs slumpily taped to the conditioner of air in hopes that St. Mole soon would be there. 
Trader Joe's pizzas nestled beneath Perry's bed, while the credenza was filled with cats that are dead. His gut all a-wobble, in his eyes a crazed gleam, as Perry sat down for a Christmas Eve stream. When from the piss patio came such a clatter, Perry darted with haste to empty his bladder. A long while later he waddled back in, then struggled for minutes to remove the pin. The moon on the grime of the patio shone, as Tom B. bellowed, Perry, answer the phone! When what to his mad baggy eyes should appear, but a red Burton snowboard and the man he held dear. A casting director so rugged and fit, Perry knew in an instant he must have that dick. And soon, with a shudder, the no-border came, sucked down Randy's milkshake without any shame. Now Whitney, now Amy, now Scarlet and Gina, on John D, on Linda, Blue Iris and Sheba. From the junior one-bedroom and into the halls, hot dudes had lined up for Perry's Christmas Eve balls. To his Italian flower the fellows did fly. He was repeatedly mounted by guy after guy. Out by the pool the disco ball spun, and all the hot boys were having their fun. They humped, they gyrated, they started to pound, once Perry had wrestled them all to the ground. His best friend in town arrived with a hola, passing around that delicious mold cola. It's drugs in a can, he said with a grin, if you drink enough, the room starts to spin. <laughs> Perry's backside was frosted with a hundred dudes jism. This was better than porn, twas like going to prison. He opened his mouth, that fat little toad, and greedily lapped up load after load. With Randy Claus's U-log clenched tight in his lips, Pear Bear sucked fiercely while thrusting his hips. Soon Perry's face, moves, and massively round belly were dripping with slippery Callahan jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right miserable clown. Randy's holiday eggnog all pervy sucked down. Some got in his eye when he pulled back his head. Perry knew in a flash his straightness was dead. Caked in Christmas spirit, he went to his work, determined to no longer be such a jerk. Accepting all offers with grace and aplomb, he gave such a bonus to Jim Garrett and Tom. To his fans, subscribers, and the sweat-covered crowd, he screamed, never again is this gayness allowed. The stream is over, as he reached for Tom's mouse. Merry Christmas, you demons. Now get out of my house. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What was your favorite part? I don't have a favorite part. It's just gross. Favorite part is that you finished. <laughs> Thank you for not interrupting. That was a rough one. Uh, thanks to uh, Colleen and Terry for that. Uh, that was very sweet. Very, uh, very nice. Um, let me... Um, I'll tell you what, let's run through a few uh, uh, tip comments. If you want to get uh, a tip in uh, streamelements.com slash Perry underscore Caravello underscore live slash tip. Now, Perry is on a bit of a deadline today. I got to get out of the uh, the old English voice. I mean, let's carry it over. <laughs> uh, uh, Perry's on a bit of a schedule today. Stream. And, uh, he has yes. to go to a Christmas Eve dinner with his relatives. So CCs. if we don't get to every comment that comes in today, we will forward them on to the next stream, whenever that is. See, please, please, please. Um, are you going at the hand again, or are you going to bring uh, some wine? My trunk is loaded with things for everybody. Okay, good. You got what Christmas presents and everything? Yeah, what? You bought presents and wine and things yes. like that. Okay. Yes. Cool. Very yes. good. Very, yes. very good. Very good. Jolly, jolly, jolly. They got shirts and bottles and candy Happy and Happy holidays, and PCL this. crew. Hope you all have an awesome time. Enjoy the time off and come back bigger and better in February. Perry, can I have an OOO? 
Thank you very much for the polite and respectful comment. Oh, oh, oh! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Georgia. Finally. Well, I have a heart attack because my heart's been beating like crazy today, and it just... <sighs> I'm going to talk to the doctor about this. Perry, it's Brenda Anderson. I can attest you did hey. not fake your car crash. Three weeks in a coma and only oral sex from Phil, our Aaron, brought you out of it. What? <sighs> yeah, three weeks in a coma, I know. But uh, I didn't have sex with you at the hospital. I would have loved to, but... Uh, Ugh. I think the only sex I got from you was on the Santa Monica Pier when I ran into you that time. Big lovable makeout scene. <clears throat> no, no, nothing, no major sex sex, but I mean, we, we hugged and kissed when we ran into each other. It was nice seeing you again. We need the contract signed and notarized for you to join our team. Your management team should have it. A contract signed? Why would I sign a contract with Burton? My management team has a contract for me to sign? What's the pay? What's the pay? What is the pay? Otherwise, you guys can kiss my ass. <clears throat> you didn't invent the sport. You stole the we sport. We would like you to snowboard at Burton sponsored events and represent our brand full time. If I get the contract and the and the right pay. Okay? Be more than happy. Sure. I mean, my old friend, my old uh, uh, skateboarding boss who uh, created snowboards, of course, is no longer with us. So uh, I, I can leave uh, Mr. Tom Sims uh, to rest in peace, but uh, I won't be riding Sims boards. And... My old friend Bert Lamar from uh, when we were young kids skateboarding at Skater Cross down the street from where I presently live. Um, I had a Bert, I had a Burton, or excuse me, a Lamar board, my first snowboard, and uh, that was forced out of my hands and for sale, which uh, I really should have never gotten rid of that board because that was uh, that was like a memory and uh, the kid that I used to skateboard with. I didn't really skateboard with him. I mean, we would always run into each other at Skater Cross. So, meaning Burt Lamar. So, uh, that's why I bought the Lamar board when I did. At Sports Chalet, back when Sports Chalet was in business. Now that place is, a, I think, a movie theater. Perry, it's Shorty. I have been living in the Bel Air home for retired prostitutes. I am still traumatized by you giving me crabs. Will you apologize? Uh, you're a lie because I haven't talked to you in ages. So how would I be giving you something that uh, I never got myself? Okay. Moron. You were with a ton of people. I was just one of many. So how dare you say I gave you something? Like crabs just want to piss me off oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Perry it's Gina I saw on CNN you no longer wipe after making BM that is disgusting oh, please. I can't be with someone who doesn't wipe I'm sorry goodbye Whatever you see on the stupid internet or on, on the, the TV that says that I'm not, I, I wipe always, not once, not twice, more than, more like three to five times I wipe to make sure I'm completely clean every time I go poop. You sick, 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 evil sicko. Ugh. 
don't wipe. Give me a effing break. I wear a diaper for what? To pee in, Carrie, not to poop in. A big in. thank you for another year of warm and lovable entertainment. You're a national treasure. A true star. A giant of a man. The best. Well, thank you for, for the respectful remark there. Thank you very much. Thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. Mr. Caravello, with all the many shits you take, your refusal to wipe could plunge the toilet paper industry into a deep recession. Please reconsider. I always wipe my butt, you sick, sick, Harry, sick, evil stink. It's Weasel the cat. Even I lick my ass thoroughly after I poop. Are you an animal? Are you lower life form than me? Oh, shut Who's up. Wiping? I wipe every time I poop. I'm clean, constantly clean. Mm. Perry, at the time of this message, it's day four of me hiding in your apartment. Thanks, Tom, for the spare key. You have three days left to find me for $1,000. You're not allowed. You'll never be allowed. And if I find somebody breaking into my home, they're going to jail immediately. Spare key. I'll have the locks changed again. <sighs> also, anyone who watches Perry sleeping cam and bathroom cam, please don't alert Perry to where I'm currently hiding. Be cool. There is no bathroom camera. Sorry, dummy. Not allowed in my house. And a sleeping camera is not allowed either. Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. Uh. Fix mm. the rim of your hat. It's uh, causing a shadow. Thank you. Because of the humidity being like 85% right now, it's messing with my neck. So it's not like that every day. It's just you know, moisture in the air and the, the clouds. And the Are you going to read this or had. not? All right. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Chapstick writes, time to refresh your smile. With Chapstick, you are feeling and sounding dry. Use your chapstick, moisten up, and enjoy life. Um, well, I have O'Keefe's. I don't have chapstick anymore. I have O'Keefe's. I have uh, Costco brand. I have a Vaseline brand. So I'll, I'll uh, turn the O'Keefe and... Uh, Put on. That's all. So there we go. Thank you for the loving remark. Thank you. Get that griff. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello, everyone. It's Perry. Please. Do not, and I repeat, do not send Read it as it's written, with, please. But I'll be, all right. So, hello, everyone, it's Perry. Please send me firewood. Why would you want to send me firewood? I don't have a fireplace, you blithering moron. 
Dead fish. I don't want dead fish either. And I do not want Dave's hot chicken for Christmas. I am going to be very busy today and tomorrow. Hail Satan. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, moron. Uh, I will turn. I will not turn the microwave around now. That's not allowed in my home. I'm not turning the microwave around. Not cooking any food. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Perry, Tommy, and the PCL crew. Feliz Navidad. Okay. And and the uh, guy with sunglasses. E. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, usually, normal human beings say thank you. It's the same to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm a little. In, in, a, in a spacey mode right now. Thank you for the polite words. Thank you. <clears throat> Toyota CEO, Koji Sato Perry. The grease monkey you are seeing is not certified by Toyota. What? Please bring the car to an. Uh, please bring the car to our headquarters in Plano, Texas, for service or drive. No, 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 no. I'm not driving a Kia. No, that'll never happen. I'm not driving to Texas. I got no real. I'm not going to Texas. And I don't want to drive a Kia. Koji Sato. Perry in 92 sucked Randy's cock and swallowed his load for three SAG vouchers. You are a gay prostitute. I'm sure you have sucked a lot more cocks. Never did that. This is 2023. 32 years later. And you're talking about it like it happened last week. Stop talking to me that way. For 32 effing years, th yeah, for 30, th 30, well, well, yeah, 32 effing years, you guys keep bringing up the same stupid sexual assault that happened to me. I mean, get over it already, you little brats, and grow the fuck up, okay? This is not junior high school. This is not high school or college or even elementary school. You guys are a bunch of freaking kindergartners, and you're supposed to be adults? Please. I demand an apology. Perry, did Randy fuck you before or after you blew him? If he fucked you before, did you make him clean his cock or did you slurp it down with your poo? You are disgusting, disgusting, seriously, seriously disgusting. No, he never fucked me in the ass. Out of the question, him or anybody else, no guy ever went up my, my, my back door. No girl ever went up my back door. Back doors for pooping only. Harry, when you had to register to be a sex offender after you raped Randy, was there a fee you have to pay? Do you need to register every year or once? I'm not answering that that dumb, 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 dumb remark. No answer is going to happen to that because you're just disgusting. You sick, 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 psychotic dirtbag. Ugh. Perry, 
Harry when you blew Randy did you do any role playing? You pretended you were a princess running away from home and needed an ice man to help you. Shut up. Nothing like that ever happened, you disgusting psychopath. Ow, ow, ow. Ugh. All right, Barry, I have a, an offer here, not a crowdsource offer, just an individual offer. This comes from Yurgi, and it's a good one. It uh, relates to the marbles that uh, you were sent uh, earlier in the stream. What now? I'll tell you what now, okay? Keep in mind, uh, you know, uh, don't turn down anything uh, that could you know, be helpful to you in the month of January. $50 if you would dump the box of marbles out on the floor and leave it there for the entire stream and then shop vac the marbles at the end. Uh, Perry has to spread the marbles uh, all around the computer area. So the area that you're in now, you know, the area that we see uh, right behind you. All you got to do is just dump the box of marbles out. That's it. And then shop vac them up at the end of the stream. I, I, is that an OC? Uh, sorry, OA? Offer accepted? Is that an offer accepted? Hey, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, you freaking moron. Is it offer I accepted? Pour this on the ground behind me? Around your computer area. So you'd get out of the chair and just, you know, whatever, you know, this area that we see on the stream here. Yeah, pour it out. So Is I it... trip and fall and break my neck? Just until the end of the stream. Obviously, don't trip on it. Just pour them all into the box. So pour the bag into the box, and then you're going to pour the box out. And then we'll, we'll suck them up after. Okay, obviously, no, no. Okay, obviously, turn around and do it. You just, what? Did, you just did it with your, I mean, God, you're the worst cinematographer. You just did it with your back to the stream. Spread it all around. Spread it all around. Oh, it's on the floor, all over the place. Okay, spread it around. All right, that's good. Okay. Uh, let me get to a Tom's tip. This is from our friend Scott Lorock. Jerky, the combination of a useless ski pass, money hole Corolla, rolls of toilet paper that you don't use, because we all know you don't wipe, paying for Robin's steak dinners, and getting no trim, this level of financial irresponsibility kind of makes me uncomfortable giving you money. Just being honest. Whatever you're saying is a complete lie about me never wiping my ass. I always wipe my ass, you sick, 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 evil bitch. I'm not even going to swear anymore. Oh, not that I'm not going to swear anymore. It's just that I don't want to swear. I'm tired of it. Um, I think what his point was is that you've uh, shown that you are financially irresponsible. Because it's your, you know, you're you're not the, the greatest uh, with spending money. Like you, you spend you, you, uh, expensive dinners on a woman who doesn't give you sex, am... and uh, put you know five thousand dollars into a twenty three year old car. You know that kind of thing. That that was the main point, the takeaway. Okay. So what else? Uh, I bought a... an eighty seven Corolla. I put six thousand dollars in that car. Then I gave the car away. I didn't sell it. I gave it away. That's more or less what it is. I, I can't speak to that. I wasn't around for that one. Yeah, uh, we weren't around for that. Here's another Tom's Tips from our friend Matt C. Perry, our friendly Canadian neighbor, Sketch, has been more than patient waiting for his grocery store diploma. Send it now. No, shut up your ass, moron. Nobody gets my, 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 
my certificates, my diplomas. No one. They're mine. They're in my fucking name. So shove it up, your goddamn asshole. Asshole. What You're not allowed in my home either. What happened? Jerk. What happened to you not swearing? Anyway, he goes on to say, send it now it's because... Okay, Perry, Sorry. Just, just wait till I'm done. Send it now because he bought it. It's not yours anymore. Also, I asked Jim for a favor, and he's allowing the legend, Tony Hawk, into your apartment to sign... Not allowed here! Not allowed here! Not motherfucking allowed here again! God damn it! Uh, I'm not allowed him in here! Today or another goddamn occasion! You fucking got it! Uh, he's allowing... Son of a... Okay, Perry, let me just get this out, and then you can, you know, do your buffoonery oh! after. Okay, are you done? Can I finish? He's allowing legend Tony Hawk into your apartment to sign my skateboard photo behind you. Don't forget, I own your boogie board now. <laughs> Uh, send, uh, don't forget I own the boogie board so you're not allowed to use it anymore. Ship it right now. my house! And that was from our friend Matt C. Fucking loser! Okay. And I got another Tom's tip here. This one is from the AARP. Do you know who the AARP is? Do you know who the AARP is? Do you know what it stands for? Uh, no, I don't remember the. What, I what think it, it's the. It, I, I'm guessing it's the Association of Retired People or American Association of Retired People, something like that. Uh, thing. What about AARP? Well, they say here Hello, Perry. Greetings from the AARP, one of the largest institutions for retirement in North America. Are you ready to retire, Perry? Now that you no. are over 60, we are here to announce that we will be ready to make a generous offer to become your corporate sponsor going forward. Interesting. We offer many benefits for all your members that are over 50. Would you like to work with us, Perry? Maybe. At AARP, the Association of Ass Raping Perry... Oh, that's what it stands for. Our membership what? is at AARP, the Association of Ass Raping Perry. Our membership is no. open to anyone over no. fifty millimeters when fill, fully erect. Whether you no. retire with Perry to the casting Bye. couch, credenza, or Good rock Bye. hard bed, we fully support your decision to ass rape Perry. Sign up today to get the latest Good information Bye. on Perry's whereabouts to ensure your ass raping goes as smoothly as possible. Goodbye. Sincerely, the AARP, the Association of Ass Raping Perry. Ooh. Goodbye. That's not what AARP means, though. You sure about that? My mom had their, their uh, retirement insurance thing. And I get letters from them all the time, so. <sighs> I'm also a member of AARP. Well, uh, here's another offer, Perry. This is for $30, and it's from Filthy42. And it goes on to say, Everyone says that Perry is filthy and unorganized. But to prove them all wrong, I will pay Perry... $30 to dump out his fanny pack and time him to see how long it takes to organize it. I'm not moving a goddamn thing out of my bag. Period! Well, you would get paid $30 to just put it... Stop touching my bag! Go fuck yourself! 30 bucks ain't gonna do make me dump my bag out, you motherfucker! Fuck you and get off my goddamn stream! Of a bitch. A simple no will suffice, sir. No. Oh, giving me a fucking headache. I'm tired of this shit. God, I can't handle this. 
help. Period, Santa, and you've been a real naughty boy this year. That's why I'm leaving Aina Lube and sexy Asian hunks that look like John D under your tree. I don't have a tree, don't worry about me. Go away, you. <clears throat> you snow white snorting scumbag. Scare Master, Ivanka is distancing herself from my campaign. I know you can relate to a daughter who wants nothing to do with you. Can you talk to her? Ivanka is distancing. Why is she dis dis why is she distancing herself? What what did what did I do? What did she do? I I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm 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 I mean, it's, that's your daughter and you're her father and everything. I mean, I want to get my daughter back. I haven't spoken to my daughter in ages and I'm, I want to hear from her. I'd like to freaking be able to speak with her on the phone. And uh, I, I love her and miss her to pieces. And pff, I'm not allowed to call my own child. I don't even have her own phone number. But Tom has it. Tom can talk to my Hey, Perry, daughter. as I've told you many times, she doesn't want to be talked about on the air. So knock it off. Again, you hear it right there, live. And, yes, she doesn't screen. want to be talked about. So I don't. Then I'm not going to talk about okay, her. Okay, then good. Then be That's quiet. That's my child. I want to talk to my own hey, child. Hey, Perry. Again. Okay, there's very few times I tell you like this is not for the air. This is not for the air. Okay, she's made it very clear. She doesn't want to be talked. She doesn't want to be a topic. Uh, she doesn't want to be fodder for your stream. Okay, so respect that. Thank you. Sorry. You're the only person who wants to have sex with her more than I do. Convince her to join my campaign and you can be VP. What? I'm the only person who wants to have I'm not the only person who wants to have sex with your daughter. How dare you make a remark like that? That's sick. She's a married woman. She's got children from her husband. I'm not I'm not I'm not into messing up a relationship where she oh please that's why i cared for tiffany as well okay no i'm not i'm not doing that to ivanka or to tiffany Evil garbage is just wrong. Period, Cynic, and I forgot I'm also leaving Sprite, Skittles, Three Cartons of Marlboro, VHR, and the VHS copy of the John D. Orgy. It's all going in the garbage. It's all a lie. That stupid orgy. All shopped, a photoshopped, edited, put together in a computer, then all of a sudden taped on a on a DVD and then transferred onto a VHS tape to make it look like it was something that was never done right. I'm not stupid. I don't know how things are done. Thank you for subscribing. Can you please tell us how you broke your neck every time and when her brother broke his neck after you tricked him to ride your bike? He's an idiot. How? I don't know who that person is that made that comment, but somebody knows 
about my brother breaking his neck on my bicycle back over here when, when we lived on Collins. Okay. Back in the seventies, when we lived, when uh, my mom, my brother Brian, and I lived in uh, the apartments on Collins, off of the corner of Reseda and Collins, which is off the one one freeway right there, um, they were building the apartment complex, which is now sitting there on the on that corner. Okay, and there was a a pile of dirt there. I used to ride my bike up to the dirt and jump off of it and do little cross ups and stuff, cross ups in the air and, and things. So Brian saw saw me doing uh, cross ups and you know fishing my tail out and stuff and oh let me try that so he gets so uh, he goes you know he goes and grabs my bike and uh, gets on my uh, my my Schwinn Stingray the heavy bike and uh, starts right over the over the uh, hump that it would be the jump and as he's going over all of a sudden he he st- he starts to flip and. <sighs> I don't know why he didn't even jump. He, he all of a sudden he's going over and the bike starts to flip and he's flipping with the bike. And uh, the next thing I know, the guy, the guy is in, in uh, shock. He gets up off of the ground and uh, he goes, I just broke my neck. And he, he uh, jets into the apartment and goes upstairs and um, makes uh, mom take, take uh, us to the hospital. That's what happened. All right, why don't you open up another mailbag? Get a if you have a big box, why don't you open that? A big box. Um, yeah, th- these are the only two left. Okay. The box is over there. I, I I'm not allowed to touch. Oh, oh, okay. I know, I know what that is. Um, yeah. Okay. Why am I being sent dog food? I don't have any animals in my home. Well, maybe a note would explain that. Okay. And I'm not eating dog food. Out of the question. Jackasses. So the note says, Moop, Perry, it's Bruce Willis, Meep, Flingy. What? I eat dog food now. Oh, God. Chingy Meep Moop. This is fa- this this my favorite. Chingly Meep Moop. Please try on Boop. Your stream Boop. Love you, Perry. Flingy Meep Meeples from Bruce Will- Willis. I'm not eating your goddamn dog food, moron. Shove it up your ass. How dare you try to get me to eat dog food, you sick psycho. Ugh. Now the last box. What was the one that you got from the locker yesterday? Did you open that already? And is that a Christmas present on the pillow there on the couch, or is that something of yours? That's for Bob Levy. It's a bunch of shirts. Oh, okay. And the Christmas present is for Bob. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll save that for Bob for next Sunday. When he gets here. Yes. And by the way, the answer, I've been getting a lot of questions. Is Bob Levy really coming uh, for New Year's? Yes, he's really coming. That's not a, a joke. He's, he's really coming. He'll be there. He'll be here next week. Okay, what is this? Merry Christmas, Perry. Okay. 
Oh, put that on. Put that on hold, Perry. I, I believe you have something at the door that you need to attend to immediately. Put that aside, please. It sounds like Santa Claus is at the door. You'd be correct. Please get that. Hold on. Merry Christmas, Perry. Merry Christmas. I'm not bringing this in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hold on. Let me help you carry this no, stuff in. No, no. Let me come in and help you. Yes. May I come in? Yes. Oh, thank you very much, Perry. Yes. Where's your decoration? Oh. A Grinch. You have a Grinch. So follow Which me. Which way should I go? This way. Okay, sir. Watch yourself in flight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More, it's a little clearer than when I was last year. Last be year, careful Christmas. because there's marbles everywhere, okay? Why did you put marbles in here? Because these morons made me. <laughs> <laughs> I love marbles. Did someone give you an early gift? Hey, Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, Tom. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa. It's great to see you. Am I on... There we go. Can you guys see me? Merry Christmas, Perry. Merry Christmas. Perry, give Santa a big hug. Hang on. Merry Christmas, Thank Perry. You. Thank you. I got some bones to pick with you, but... I don't know what I did. You've done a few things. You've done some, a couple good things, but... Was, this was at the door. Oh, let's take a look. Well, in a minute, just put it to the side. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Can you give Santa a nice hug? I did. He gave me a hug. He oh, gave okay. me a hug. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. May I sit down? Yeah. I'm I only on want to come in if I'm invited. On the footstool. Okay. Is this... Oh, Sandy, you're looking I'm great. I'm not eating way. this. It says two, two uh, large sprites and two fillet of fish. I'm not eating any food. It is well, maybe very Santa's hungry. Not eat a gift I'm not eating. Gives you. I'm not eating any food here. I gotta be somewhere else. Well, let's see what so, you no, get. No, I'm not Harry. eating anything. You get at least. If you pint. want a sprite, Santa, here you go. Oh, thank you very much. I like sprite. It's very delicious. Okay, here you go. I have my own drinks too. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Delicious. <laughs> Look at the service. There you go. It's good Sprite. You should have some. No. Please? No. Yeah, just you, a sip. No. No, no, no. I'll put it on the desk. No! There's. I don't want any the electricity. Oh. I don't want no electric items okay. possibly getting wet. Okay. No electric items are allowed to get wet. Okay, I, it goes on the floor. Okay. Okay, good. Shit. All right, let me help unpack this stuff. Put it on the desk right there. Um, Merry Christmas, PCL. Is everyone ready? I'm ready for the big night. Oh, Santa, Santa. So w w what's your plan here? You, I mean, obviously, you got a lot going on tonight. Well, I won't stay long. I have uh, just a... I want to read out a couple things I've been noticing about Perry all year long. Uh, I have uh, some naughty things and some nice things, and I want to gauge... Did you make it to the nice list? I'm I not don't so know sure. What talking about. My elves prepared some gifts based on what you've done, and I just want to see if you've made it to the nice list. That's all. We'll see. Perry, can you we'll scoot over right. just a tiny, tiny bit so Santa can get in the shot? Thank you. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I mean, Santa's got a very busy night tonight. I mean, he's got to go around the whole world. So. Yep. It, it, I always wanted to know this. Do you start on the West Coast, Santa, and then make your way across the Pacific, or do you just... How, how does it work? I go down to Australia first, so I'll be seeing Steve and Jess and all those our friends down there. Then I go up through Europe, back across the United States. Wow. That's a long night. Yeah. Long night, yes. Yeah, I would say Perry can go with you, but he doesn't have a passport. I've got... I've, I'm, I'm very busy tonight and tomorrow. What are you doing? I got a family meeting to go to. Brian? Kenny? No, 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 no cousins. Which cousins? Mark? No. Mark's in Washington State. Oh. What list oh, is on what list is uh Brian on, Santa? Brian is on the naughty list. He is he has a hard time with stealing. Did you know that? Yes. He's a thief. He's, he's already been behind I'm bars. I'm sorry to say he's a thief. He's already been behind bars for it, so You're not the only person he's stolen from. But his wife is another she's thief. Pretty, no, no. She's been pretty good this year. She's another thief. She's, she's done good. some uh, pretty good hacking. She's, she's, that's all she knows how to do is screw people over. Oh, no. That's not true, Perry. Well, 
I have the list here. I have a nice list. I have a naughty list. And Tom, would it be okay if I started going through some of the naughty things that Perry's done? You know, I think that would probably uh, be a good idea. Say, I don't want to tell you how to do your business, but... Oh, brother. Yeah. Papers all crooked. Perry hugged me too hard. Um, but, all right. Let's go through the naughty list. All right? We'll get to some of these gifts. My elves prepared. The naughty list. Oh, can you actually... Can you, hold on a second. Can I, can I get a good shot of that? I would love to... Uh, well, get in the get in the picture with Perry if you can, uh, Santa. I would love to get a little uh, screenshot of this. Uh, hold on a second. Let me turn off the chat real quick. Perry, yeah, give that confused look. Point to the list, Perry, like you're confused. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. Okay. All right, Perry. Um, I'm gonna start getting out some gifts, but um. The first thing on our list is very unfortunate. Perry, you forced Bob Levy to blow smoke into his face. You for you forced Bob Levy to blow smoke into your face. No. You did. You asked no. for it. I saw the stream. No. Oh, I was there. No. Yeah, that was in Pottstown. No. no, I didn't force Bob Levy you did? You to did. blow smoke in my face. You did. And uh, cigarettes are not allowed in my home. So open this gift. I don't know what it is. The elves prepared this. I just told them what you've done. Cigarettes are not allowed in my home, period. Or period. you have a guest coming period. to your home, I hear, for New Year's. Yeah. I, and again, cigarettes are not allowed in my home. Why is that? Because I'm not a cigarette smoker. That's very good. Little boys and girls should not smoke, but adults can smoke if they want to. I'm not a cigarette smoker. Well, that's not what I heard. My elves told me different. Yeah, your elves are a bunch of people that don't know squat about me oh i think they know you very well they, no, they do not see you when you're sleeping and they know when you're awake and we know an awful lot about you and actually may i add what? this little tape everyone's talking about i'm very disappointed and well actually i know it's an edited tape no, well, Perry, it's I... not it's all lies not even john gay god damn it that's the thing i expect that kind of behavior from you but john d it's John, not John. John D was a good boy. He's Why not, would he do not, that? He's not that way. Oh, he is. I'm like, not that way. I am confirming here, once and for all, the tape is real. I'm confirming what? this is Marlboro. They all go in the fucking toilet no, right no, no, now. No, 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 no. Stay right here. Right no, 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 Perry, please, no don't, darting, Perry. All right, don't go anywhere. Yes. Perry, God, save them. That's so rude. Bring it back, Perry. Perry, no, no, you're not allowed to flush those, Perry. Perry. Bring the, uh, the clothes back. Perry. Bring the clothes back. Perry, that's for Bob Levy. It's cigarettes. for Bob Levy. Give it to Bob when he gets there. What is he doing, Santa? Can you can you stop him, please? Let me go get him. I'll be right back. If not, I'll get something from his refrigerator. Perry? Oh. Perry? Oh. Right now. But the clothes can't. Oh my god. Perry, that's good enough. Come back. Come back, Perry. Perry, come back. Come on, Perry. Come Perry, on. Perry, come on. This is not not. Hey, Perry, you're, you're gonna be late. You're gonna be late for your uh, dinner. Late for your for, yeah. You're late for your cousin's dinner. Un. Unbelievable. Oh, Here, show them what the, the elves got you. Perry, no more darting. I, I don't know if Santa has your darting on his naughty list, but no more Dart, darting. It, Tom, spoiler alert, it's, it's coming up. I'm, oh, boy. Marlboro, I'm not wearing this, this, uh, uh, this, these swim trunks. We'll save it for somebody else, Perry. Don't throw that away. That's very nice. It's a matching no. set. It's a matching set. This with... Oh, that's beautiful. I think for when it's, Bob it's Levy all... comes. Yes. I'm not wearing this. I'll give it to Bob. You can wear it when Bob comes. No, when I'm he not sleeps wearing here. it. I'm giving it to Bob. Well, well don't Bob throw it away. Sleep here. All right, now, Perry, please stay seated. It's very rude for you to dart uh, when Santa's here. Very rude. Very, very rude. Secrets are not allowed, so. Well, well, 
That's uh, unfortunate because you just ruined a perfectly good gift. My elves work hard on making it. So uh, I think you have to reconsider that, that policy. Issue number two on the naughty list. Perry spent thousands of dollars of his PCL earnings to repair his 23-year-old car. And I hear on my way over here, you car. spent more on the car. That is unacceptable, Perry. Unacceptable. That car is garbage. $5,500, Santa. To you. Tom, that is a waste of money. To you. That car is trash. To you. Might I say your elves do a impeccable job of rapping. They're very good. They're very they're highly trained. I don't let them unionize, thankfully, but, you know, they're very good. Take this. Oh. Hey! This is this. I think it's the paper. Open the paper. It's it. Open the pit. The this. No. Wait, wait. <clears throat> this is not my bike. Is not your bike. Well, it's not it's mine. Not my, it's not my. It's not Matt C's either. It's the bill of sale. No, it is not a bill of sale. What is it? A bill of it's sale. It's a lie. For? It's a fucking lie. It's a major, major. Ma Okay, it's his property, bicycle, Perry, Perry F. Caravello, Mad C. Santa Claus. Terms, owner, Perry F. Caravello has agreed to sell his property, bicycle, to recipient Mad C. for the amount of $8. Are you out of your lying, sick, demented, demoralizing fucking life? $8. And wait, wait. That's a fair price. That's the Kelly Blue Book value. Get of out of my house no. right now. I'll go get the bike and I'll put it in my You're bag. not allowed to touch my bike! Okay, okay I will uh, just read the rest. Show the, the stream, the bill of sale, and they, they will determine it's real. This yeah, is my let's, gift. Let's take, let's take a look. I don't want it. This lie? Wait, this hold, effing hold, lie? Hold, wait, hold it still. No, hold it still. I got to see it. It's no. a piece of shit. It's no, a fucking Perry. lie. Perry. The bill of sale, my ass. Come on, Perry. What are you God doing? damn it. Hey, my house! Get the fuck out of my house! Oh, no. You're making my house a fucking slob! I have more gifts to get You're you. a slob! Get out of my house! Come on, let's... Get out of my house! Okay, number... You're a fucking slob! Get on your fucking feet and out that goddamn door right now! Point number three. Get out of my house! Perry wasted untold quantities of food people sent him. <clears throat> you wasted so much food, Perry. Oh. Oh, that's so true. Much. Did, hey, didn't we get food just a, just a little while ago? He did, and he just wasted it. He wasted cigarettes. Where is, where is that? Where is that? Where is that McDonald's food, Perry? Get out of my house! No, Perry, I'm that's Santa Claus. Get Perry. out of my house! I'm getting you one more gift. Stop yelling at Santa. Sit down, Perry. Sit down. Some and Perry, where's the McDonald's that you got earlier? You should at least offer Santa some. You know, people usually offer Santa milk and cookies. Here's your chance. Yeah, where's my milk and side. cookies, by the way? I don't have that. Oh, you know what, Santa? I'm sorry. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, but uh, if you Here know this, go. but uh, Jim said it was okay if you want to go into Perry's kitchen and get some milk and cookies. Get the fuck out of here! Get out of my house! Get the fuck out of my house! Get out of my house! That's a funny joke. Get out of my house! That's a funny joke, Perry. That's a very funny joke. <laughs> I don't want. Now this again, this gift, my elves. Get gift. out of my house right the fuck Perry now! Perry wasted untold quantities of food people sent to him. I don't want this item because it's m a big jar of mustard. No, how do you know that? You haven't even opened it. It's a yellow thing. It's called mustard. Open it up. I don't want it. I'm not opening it. Open it get up. Get the fuck out of my house. Open it up. Get on your goddamn feet and get out of my house. Get out of my house. Perry, sit down get and out behave of my yourself. Get fucking house okay. right now. No. Get out now. No, no. Get out of my house right now. Would you like a candy cane? No. Perry, get sit... out of my house right now. Perry, okay. sit down and get a hold of yourself. Get Otherwise, get the fuck out of my house right now. One more gift. Christmas, my ass. Perry, sit gift. down and stop assaulting Santa. You're fucking evil, negative shit. Get it out of my house. Perry, sit gift. down. Hey, Perry, time out. Time out. So, Perry. My elves told me what this one is, and I think it's a really special one. Wait, what happened to the gift that you just had, Perry, that you threw aside? What happened to that? What gift? It's mustard. It's mustard, not not. Well, I didn't see it. Oh, I got it of my house, oh. I said. We need to see it. It's fucking mustard. We'll show I it. I am not going to touch this shit. I want him gone. I heard 
if you sample some of the things. I don't want it. Get the fuck on your goddamn motherfucking thing. Okay, okay. Get out of my no, house. No, Perry, right stop assaulting Santa. Oh, no, okay. no, Santa, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, Santa. Hey, Perry. Out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. Okay, Perry, Perry, please. Perry, sit down. Sit down. My house, right? you One more. Perry, day. sit down. Perry. One more. Hey, Perry and Santa, time out. Per Perry? One more gift. Perry, more sit gift. down. Perry, if you don't sit down. Out of my fucking house! I will. No! I will leave hey, Perry, if you don't sit down and do your job, you're not going to get paid. You hear what I said? If you don't sit down and do your job, you're not going to get paid. Sit down and stop acting like an animal to Santa Claus. Yes, Perry, please. It's, this, it's Christmas. Sit down. Christmas, okay? We love you. Get the fuck out of my house. I can't do that. Not yet. Just one more gift, please. One more gift. Now this gift, Perry, you repeatedly said horrible things about the great state of Florida. That's very unfortunate. Very. I'm unfair. never going to Florida. Florida is a lovely. Place. I never will ever enter the state of Florida. Florida. I don't place. want to be anywhere near the sick, disgusting. Show the. You got to scratch this hard off to reveal where you're going. Show the stream. I'm not going anywhere. Show the. It's a boarding pass, but show the stream. It says boarding pass. This fucking thing. Boarding pass, and I'm not going wherever this di disgraceful. Uh, Scratch it off, just like you know, like a, like a lottery ticket. Oh, fuck. It's probably gonna tell me to go to Florida. I don't. You don't know that. What does it say? I don't know. Here, scratch it with your thing. Here you go. Don't well, scratch too hard, though. The suspense, I'm not going to fucking Florida. That's the suspense for goddamn is killing sure. me. That's for you, goddamn I, sure. I'm, I'm going to go to Florida later tonight. I can pick up some brochures for some retirement go homes. Go away. Go the um, fuck away. Get your disgusting, gross state of fucking Florida out of my life. Oh, no. It's a great place. Please. It's a great place. You know what? Yeah, you want me to go to Florida. Fuck off. No way. Florida's awesome. Yeah, it says, you're, you're going to Florida. Fuck you. I'm going to Florida so fucking well that this is what happens to No, 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 no. That's worth $400. That's fucking shit. Trash. <sighs> Garbage. Goodbye. You're just a... Mole cola I don't want in my home either. You oh, sick son of a bitch. I was going to offer this to you to cool No, down. no, 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 no. Get that off my it, goddamn stream. It doesn't kill Get it anymore. off my fucking stream. It's mole cola. It's, it's delicious. It's garbage. Okay. You are a party pooper. <sighs> bitch. What? I'm not assaulting him. <sighs> Sorry for grabbing you, dude. Ho, ho, ho. It's okay. I'm Santa. I can take it. I understand. Mike and Esto. I'm on the stream and... Huh? They're in the trunk of the car right now. Hey, Perry, I got you got to call him back. You, Body. We're working. Uh, I got I got to I got to uh, finish my stream and then head over there. Bye. Bye. He was talking about bodies in the trunk, right? That was it. Not bodies. Oh. Gifts. Are in oh, the trunk. oh, I misheard. My hearing's going. Let's mm. get to the next gift, shall we? How about that? Is that OK, Tom? Please, please. OK, we'll take this gift. This one. Is for you wasted a thousand dollars on a ski lift pass you will never, ever, ever use. My brother. I got you a crazy Kenny skateboard company skateboard deck. Oh fuck! 
I don't want his shit. I mean, he has a skateboard company. You should stick to skateboarding. You're, you're not a snowboarder. You're not a snowboarder. I will be in the snow. Nope. I snow that, ski no, and that, snowboard. That snow pass is not useful. You're not going to use it. Now show the stream. Kenny is a fucking liar. Wow. Cra CrazyKennySkateboards.com. Um, hey, Perry, how come you don't have branding like that? Hey, don't throw it away like that. I want to see it, Perry. Can I see the other side? Can you sit down so I can see your face in the frame? Can you sit down, Perry? Can you turn it around now? Go fuck yourself. This is not mine, not my board. Go fuck yourself. Shall we move on to the next one? Tell have, him, is that okay? Santa, have you ever had a more a grateful uh, gift receiver than Perry? I am the most despicable, uh, ungrateful piece of garbage right now. Yeah. I, I have never had someone assault me. Uh, that's new. Children usually scream or cry. I'm used to that, but... I didn't this, assault you. I'm you sorry. did. You threatened to punch me. I didn't threaten to punch you. I, I just grabbed you and I want you out of my house. I can't. I, North Pole law dictates I have to. You're not allowed in my home ever again. You invited me in. I invited you in, you but I didn't expect this crap to happen. You invited me into your home. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Now I'm inviting you back to leave to my home. Back to the Christmas spirit. I'm inviting you to leave my home. Here you go, sir. Get this one. Oh, okay. Keep, it's okay. It's okay, Perry. Now this one, I'm very sad to say Perry tried to fire his producer, Jim, during the holidays. Oh, during the holidays. That was, that was terrible. I don't care. So hard for oh, you. Boo-hoo. He raises so much money for you. All that money you pay, you waste on your car, him and Tom round up for you every stream, and you just piss it away. It's very sad. Well, you know what? Thank you, you guys. For helping me get my car fixed and repaired. Well, I'm a... now, what the hell is this? I am. If this is pickles, I am throwing it immediately. I know it's trash. not pickles. Open it the, looks take, like pickles. Take the bubble it wrap looks like off. Pickles. It looks take the bubble wrap like off. Take the bubble pickles. wrap off here. It looks like disgusting effing pickles. And if it is, it goes in. Well, you know, Santa, we have a new uh, rule here at PCL. I don't know if you heard, but Perry uh, will donate any unused, uh, non-perishable uh, food items. So this will go, if, even if Perry doesn't use it, it will go it's to somebody that could. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. No, what did uh, you say, Perry? No, it's not garbage. You will donate it. Garbage. Show the stream. Hold on. I don't want it in my home. I don't eat that shit. Get it the fuck out of my house. Perry, please. I don't eat it. I will never eat it. It's garbage. I want it out of my home. I'm a candy cane. I'm going to end this fucking stream. No, you're not. Fucking. Put the fuck away from me. Try and have it. Get it away from me. Try and have a kid. Just have a kid. Put Get it out of Oh, Christ. I got to fucking. What? You got you to gotta try one now. Here. Shut up. Give, I'll hold this. i put this in the trash. Right there. I'm not eating any of this. You eat a candy cane? No! And then you can have a pickle. No! Well, at least have a lick of the candy cane, Perry. Be a little festive. Just try it. Just try it. It's a candy cane. Damn it. You're making my fucking home a mother! No, don't dart away. Hey, Perry, the more you dart away, the later you're going to be for later. You're going to make I yourself wait. late. No, no, he's, no do, do not put your him. hands on Santa Claus. Take a lick I'm of that, and then you're going to listen to Santa. One more gift. One more gift. One more gift. Look at it. Not yet. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of a lot of gifts in here. You're making my Perry, home. Can you, can, you, you gotta shop back the marbles up anyway, so you can shop right. Can you move up closer, Perry? The stream doesn't take place back there. I'm leaving in twenty minutes! No, you're not. I told you this is your most important thing. This. 
Okay. Sorry, Tom. Endless fucking bag. First, I fire Jim. Next, I fire Tom. I, I, good. I good luck paying for your car, then, dopey. Okay. Okay, here we go. This one, Perry. Perry is frequently defiant, disgusting, and demoralizing to his director, Tom Brennan. Well, boy, uh, I think we just heard it ourselves right there. You, I witnessed it firsthand, Tom. That was uncalled for. Garak. It's coal. Okay. That is a traditional gift for when you are being bad. You've been can bad. I, can, been I see, can I see your coal, Perry? Well earned, Perry. Well earned. Well earned. Yeah, screen is frozen, Perry. Isn't that right? Yeah. Tom, screen is frozen. I'll work on that right now. Although well, you can carry on. The, the stream is not frozen yeah, on okay. our end. Thank you, Perry. Hold this for one second. Now this one, the elves thought, I don't know, for your infraction of Perry attacked, choked, tackled, kissed, and threatened his best friend, Tony Hawk. He's not my friend. He's your best friend. He's not my friend. And I'm not drinking any of this shit. This is right. I am not drinking this. No. 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 No what? I'm not well, drinking this. Save it for New Year's Eve. Bob Levy loves Sprite. I don't want it! Well, again, save it for Bob Levy. He loves it, so save it. Drink. Have a, have a sip, Harry. Come on. I'm not drinking it! And this fucking sticky shit. Yuck. Okay. Let's see. Next item. Perry is a terrible host and constantly talks over tips and media shares. So? This one. Uh, well, wow. that's, that's definitely, he's done it today. He's done it today. He's, he, exactly. I've seen it with my own eyes. Merry Christmas. Thank you. He'll take this trash. No, I'm not eating any of this. You have to sample some of it. I'm not eating any of this goddamn sweet shit. Fuck you. Get out. No, you're Get not allowed out. to throw it away, Perry. At least it's out of my motherfucking home. Get the fuck out of my home. Can I see that, please? Before, uh, yeah. Son of a bitch. No! 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 Get out of my house. Perry, stop assaulting Santa Claus. Let's go. Can I? No, oh, Perry, sit down, please. Ho, ho, ho. No more motherfucking gas. Get the fuck out of my okay. house. I have literally have one more gift. Get the motherfucker out of my gift. house. I have one more gift. Get the shit. I have one more gift. Boy, oh boy. He is in a bad mood for Christmas. Your phone's ringing. Get out of my house. I will leave right you. now. I'm Sit down, ready. Perry. I need higher places to be, you know. Get out of here. This is his busiest day of the year. It's Christmas. Get out of my house! It's Christmas. Perry, if you don't sit down, you don't get paid. So sit down and stop acting like a lunatic. Okay. One. One Skittle. Demoralizing. Disgusting. Sick. Sick. Fucking. Psychotic. Gross. One. Perry, sit, sit down. Sit. No, sit down. Huh? Come on. No, that's too spit it out. Damn it. <laughs> that doesn't count. The skittle. One. One more. That's you gotta eat a red skittle. and a green to make it Christmassy. That was very good, Perry. Very good. I'm gonna try a pickle now. No. What happened to the McDonald's that you got earlier? You gotta at least take one bite of that or offer it to Santa. I think he trashed it when he was trying to attack me. He's out of I, breath. I, I don't know anymore. All right, what else we got on the list, Santa? 
Perry, no more attacking. That's we're it. done. We're done. No, we're Get not. Get out the fuck out of my house. Hey, right Perry. Now. Hey, Perry. Either you calm down or you don't have anything, okay? So you won't even have gas money, okay? So knock your... I ain't shit anyway because I work for you, you fucking thief. You goddamn motherfucking thief. Oh, really? Is that, is that, is that why you were able to spend $3,500 on your car dingling? Why don't you be quiet and be respectful right now? Sit up and stop acting like a maniac and apologize to Santa Claus right now. No, sit up. Move closer. Stop with your baby bullshit. I can't do this anymore. Hey, Perry, I don't want to hear it. Move up closer. Stop with the Fred Sanford and stop attacking the guy. Okay? Santa, you can continue. Okay, okay. The final item on my naughty list. <clears throat> Perry, pay attention and stop bopping. Perry excessively and constantly bops, darts, burps, farts, and disrespects the one thing that is preventing him from going homeless. His stream, Perry Caravel Alive. Boy, that is ever, that is so true. Merry Christmas, Perry. Now what? You are, I'm on my house. Work in mysterious ways. Please. <sighs> yeah, thanks, guys. Boy. Let me help you with that. I'm not eating a fucking fish fillet. No. Oh, well, oh, you did. Boy. Is that the one that you tossed earlier? Let's, let's just look at it. That's lovely. Lovely packaging. Is it can, a can you one? please take it out? Thank you. been in here for days it's fine days oh, okay you don't have to eat it let's just look at it take a bite. fucking taking a bite of a stale stale cold disgusting fish filet it came you from the stupid son of a bitch hey get perry the more you head. dart the later this stream is going to end oh. hey Tom, perry can I get, get, up. Can I get, get the right? fuck out get on your goddamn no. feet get out. Perry. Perry, perry no 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 sit, sit down santa but I give him a redemption fillet of fish. How about that? An extra bonus fillet of fish. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't do this. I think Perry's in trouble. I'm not attacking people. I'm trying to get him up and out of my house. Jackass. He's attacking him. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. How's everyone Thanks. doing out there? Good? What does everyone want for Christmas? What you tell hey, me in the Santa, street? Santa, sorry, what? buddy. You're welcome, Perry. Oh, I, I forgive you, okay? Let's just <laughs> calm down, Perry. Calm down. I got you an extra filet of fish. In case I don't you... want it! I don't want it! Just open it. It might be a. It might, it might be an extra. Just delicious. open it, Perry. Stop being such a baby. I hate these goddamn sandwiches. Just open it. It might be a. Oh, what's this? My elves played a trick. Open it. Please. No what? Probably yeah. Back what is it? Cigarettes. What is it? Show, show the stream. Show the stream. No, we got to see it. And if you, and by the way, Perry, this one you can't throw in the toilet. This one is gets saved for Bob. Okay. For Bob. It goes in the fucking toilet. No, it doesn't. Perry, and on my by my decree, just from New Year's Eve, anyone can smoke in your apartment. No one is allowed to smoke a goddamn cigarette in my goddamn apartment. Give me those fucking. No, 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 no. These are for Bob. I'm going to put them right here on your desk where Bob can find them easily and smoke them. Okay? He's your guest. You have to be polite. Calm down. Get down. Get, get, get out. Get out. I'm out of get gifts. Out. I'm out of gifts. So that, those are my get gifts. Out. 
Santa, can you put the cigarette? Santa, can you put the cigarettes by the entertainment center so I know where it is? Sure thing, Tom. You got it. I'm gonna put them right on top of his DVD player. Are there any more lists, Santa? I do have actually a nice list. L let's hear the yeah. nice list. Perry. Oh, you know, I, I, we're done. No, we're not. Deal anything. I'm this done. Is, no, this you're not. No, there's a lot of people on PCL, a lot of fans, a lot of contributors have done so much good stuff this year. And people, I thought it'd be good, Perry, if you read off their names and what they'd be getting. And I think I have a special treat for them, me and the elves discussed, where they might be getting some things of yours if they were on the nice list. You want to get the goddamn thing of mine! From certificates to CD Day! None of my shit is ever goddamn for sale! I'm getting out of my house! Get the fuck out now! 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 Go! That, you almost hit me. That almost hurt. Son Perry, of a bitch. You're gonna, Perry, you're gonna calm yourself. Let Santa get through this. That's a nice list. Let's hear the nice list. The nice list. Oh. Help, oh. help. You need help? You want to... I was go, thinking... Go, go. I was thinking Perry could read this list. Yeah, let's see if Perry can read the list. He's not that greatest at reading. But let, let's see. Perry, okay, come on, get your glasses on. It's the name, and then what thing of Perry's they are going to be getting? Oh, I see my name on there. Oh, boy. Well, Tom, I think you're at the top of the nice list. You've been extra good this year. Oh, thank you, Santa. You know, Santa, I got to say, you were always thank good to me on Christmas. Thank you. Tom, her Palm Springs autograph book. What? Oh, my God, I've wanted that. That's the yeah. book of all the Palm Screens autograph he has. Like, so the Bob Hope autograph and... No! One thing at a time. Garrett Snowboard, no! No, no, no don't rush through it. No! Perry's computer, no! <laughs> read off the name and then what of your... What of yes, Perry, read get. one at a time. Be a little showman about Tom it. Tom B is going to be in here. Tom B is going to get Perry's Palm Springs <sighs> autograph book. Thank you, Sam. Never! That's the, worth the most in your collection. Okay, next in the list. Jim thinks he's gonna get John Voigt fans. Goodbye. Oh, Jim John Voigt really fans. Jim would, you know, Jim would love that. Goodbye. Wait, what? Wait, what was the what was the third one? He's racing. Oh, he's. You know what, Santa? I think you're gonna have to read them. Perry's a terrible reader. Okay, let's start. We tried, Perry. We tried. Okay, Jim. Jim is going to get Perry's John Voigt fans. Never. He really liked those when he was here for uh, you know earlier this Bye. year. Bye. I think he'll really enjoy those. Uh, next on the nice list, Garrett. Garrett is going to get Perry snowboard. Never. Perry snowboard. I, he's and, Perry, and Garrett can actually snowboard. Never. And maybe you can. Get never, 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 never. Get the fuck out of my house right now! God damn you! Get out of the fucking house! Perry, calm down. Get out! Oh, calm down, Perry. Go fuck yourself, you fucking loser! Go fuck yourself! <laughs> hey, Perry. No, no. Uh, hey, Perry. I'm going to call you back right now, and if you talk to me like that again, there's going to be dire consequences. I can't. I, I... Guys, I think Perry needs some a snack or something. Maybe try, like, a chicken or some sort of hot chicken or something. He might like that. Okay? I think he needs help. Are you okay, Perry? I'll live. You'll live. Good. Let's get to that nice list. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Tom. I'll go. I'll try and speed this up. I apologize. No, take uh, your time. Take your time, up. Santa. I know you, you're the busy one today. I'm busy, but... Perry's got I'm nothing sorry. to do. Perry's got nothing to do. Okay. He's got nothing going on. Okay, Danko. Danko is going to get Perry's... One of Perry's fedoras. No. Good job, Danko. It was so great no. all year long. Uh, You're not leaving with anything. Okay, next on the list, Amy Liberante. No. Amy's done some fine work this no, year. No, 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 She's no, no, the no. one who brought your tape to the world. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. uh, and no, what, Amy's... She's, no, she's no, the one that made the tape. She's the one that... She released the tape. She didn't make... You she and John it. D made the tape. No, Your no, childhood best friend made the tape. No, wrong. I am so... Dis wrong. I am disgusted wrong. and disappointed in wrong. John D. It is just so yeah. disappointing what wrong. he did and what he put in his mouth and what you put in your mouth. Awful, awful. Amy is going to be getting Perry's computer. It's all, it's, it makes sense. She's a hacker. She'll get your computer. Okay, next up on the list. Matt C. Matt C. Matt C is going to be getting Perry's diploma. 
Never. I'll go get it off the wall. You're before. not touching oh. a goddamn thing in my home. Okay. You're getting the motherfucker out of my home. Okay. You go out this way and around and out the fucking door. You walk this way. I, I want to hear the rest of the nice list. Myself. Let's go over through the rest of the list. I want to hear okay? the rest of the nice list. Okay. Grimace. Grimace. The talented Grimace. Oh, Very talented. Grimace is CD collection. Never. So Never. Get the motherfucker. Harry, okay. stop assaulting Santa Claus. What did I tell you? Okay. Sit down. Go on, go Next up on the list, on the nice list, Soviet goat. Oh, Soviet Jesus goat. Christ. Oh, he's so, I love Soviet goat. Soviet goat is getting Perry's fanny pack. Congratulations, Soviet fuck goat. Off. It's a, it's a, that's a fuck hot off. item. He was very good this year. Go fuck yourself. All righty. Next on the list, Tony Hawk. Oh, Tony Hawk is such a, he's your best friend, and I think. Tony Hawk is getting all of the Trader Joe's pizzas in Perry's freezer. There are no more. Oh, well, uh, when we get more, they will go to him. So, Tony Hawk, I now know what it's like Joe's. to be assaulted by this man. It is not fun. I don't know how you've put up with it for this long. Uh, I got places that I have to go. Okay. I... Next on the list, Ms. Alchemist. Jesus. You are getting Perry's leather jacket. Oh, fuck off, Congratulations, man. Ms. Alchemist. That is fuck a great you. gift. Uh, next on the list is Tony Pandaloni. You're getting Perry's microwave. Oh, Let's go turn that around and so we can see. Go that. fuck yourself and get out of my house right now. I, I'm losing my hearing in this year, Tom. I don't know if that's a workman's I, I, I've, been, I've been there, Santa. I've been there, Santa. Get him out. You've been... It's, it's, Awful, awful. The, the rage and heat. The heat coming off of this man. <laughs> I, I, I know. He's sweating on his boobies. Okay. Get out of my house. Next on the list. Sorry, it's a long list, Barry. Honey Baby. Honey Baby. Yay, Honey, honey Baby. Getting the Drew Barrymore security pin. Let's go grab the Go one. fuck yourself okay. right now and get out of my house okay. right now. Hey, Perry, what did I tell you? Perry. Get out. Perry, oh, what did I tell you? Get out of my house! Get the fuck out of my house! Perry, what did I tell you? Big Marvel's there. Get out of my house! Hey, Perry, Marvel's what did I tell you? Oh, sit down. Go, go. What? Get the fuck out! There's a couple. Tom's going. Woo. Stop bothering me! Stop! 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 Answer the phone, dingling. He's sweaty. He's very sweaty. Huh? Like my... Oh. Ho, 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 everyone. Ho, ho, ho. All righty, where were we? Okay, so we did Honey Baby. Now let's see what Wavy G is getting. Wavy G. A bulb from Perry's chandelier. Go fuck yourself. That's very good. Right over Get there. out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. Perry. Get the fuck out of my hey, house. Hey Perry, what did I just tell you? What did I just tell you? Go. Oh fuck it. I'm not going to do it now. Go. Just a couple more names. He's got a couple more, go. Perry. Stop acting like a lunatic. Okay. Illegal deagle. Perry's George Foreman Grill. Oh, fuck. What a good gift. What a good gift. What a great gift. That's, I, I wish I had that. Okay. Ed P. Ed P is getting Perry's keys. Congratulations, Ed P. That is a really cool gift. All right. Next in the nice list, because again, this person is actually nice. Uncle Poopy. Uncle Poopy is also getting one of the bulbs from Perry's chandelier over my shoulder, which I can't figure out right there. So congratulations, Uncle Poopy. Congratulations, Uncle Poopy. Uh, Wheeler Walker, you are getting a piece of Perry's trophy. We're going to no. break it up in the small no. pieces and we'll give that No! Up. No! No! No, you're not touching my goddamn fucking poor trophies! Do not go near my trophies! Get the fuck out! Okay, next on the list... Carl Nelson. Oh, I love Carl Nelson. Carl Nelson is getting Perry's high school photo on the wall where he's looking dapper and young. And he's very handsome down. in that photo. Very good. Okay. 
Wojtek Frankowski is getting also a bulb from Perry Chandelier. Get out! Good job, Wojtek. Um, Wangler. Wangler is going to be getting Perry's Ty Cobb artwork in his bathroom. Very cool oh, piece. Oh, that's a yeah. very... That's been there a long time. Wangler loves Ty Cobb. So, okay. Okay. Next on the list, Bert Macklin. Bert Macklin is going to be getting a wheel from Perry's bike. Just one of the wheels. Oh, fuck off, loser. I think I think Matt C. will allow Go that. Away. I know Matt C. owns the bike now. My, Matt, nobody owns nothing in my home. There's a bill of sale for Matt no, C. No, 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 no. Okay. Next up on the list, Steve and Jess. Steve and Jess are going to be getting Perry's rollerblades. Congratulations. Well, he can't use those anymore anyway, so that's very good. Thank you. Shut up! He's not a good rollerblader. Okay. Dustin Hedberg, who is a new fan, I hear, is going to be getting a piece of Perry's trophy also. You're not touching my trophies. Welcome to PCL, Dustin. It's it's the best show you'll ever see. Okay, next on the list, Dio Brando. Dio Brando is going to be getting a Perry's skateboarding photos. Not allowed. Just, that's a, I think that's Not a very... Not allowed. Just please get on your feet and walk out my door, please. Patiently. No. Okay. I, respectfully. He's not done. And do not else in this home. Patiently and respectfully. Let me just finish the last few names and then Go I'll ahead. get out of your hair. Okay? Well, before you do say it, I do have one thing to bring up before you, before you, after you finish the, the nice list. So don't, don't, uh, don't dart out yourself, Santa. Okay. Scott LaRock. Scott LaRock is going to be getting Perry's printer. I never no. see him use this thing. And I think Scott could very uh, rarely uh, used, yeah. No. Alrighty. James Blah Blah. James Blah Blah is getting Perry's zebra steering wheel cover from his famous Corolla, his 23 year old piece of junk Corolla. Piece of junk my ass to great car. It lasted me this long. It hasn't lasted you this long. Yes, it has. It's money. Been- Fix it. it means it's not lasting. That means it's dying. It's, it's been repaired. Now working. Okay. Okay. Sketch 317. Sketch 317 is getting Harry's computer chair. Oh, wow. Yeah. No. You're not, you're not allowed in my home. You're not getting anything from me. Mark Lang. Mark Lang is getting Perry's skis. Never in a Oh, that's a years. good item, Mark. They haven't been, they're vintage, too. They haven't been used in, like, vintage, 25 unused. years. Vintage. They haven't been used in 40 years. They're no. practically brand new. Basically no. brand new. Wrong. All right, next up, Consensual 92. Consensual 92 is beginning Perry's keyboard. Let it back! Perry's keyboard! Set down! Okay. <clears throat> And Little Gaper is getting Perry's mouse. Get the That's fuck this, out of that, my house. You're not Do supposed not to touch, touch it. That'll be great. That'll be great for us. Yeah. And that's it. That's the nice list. And then there's a couple wow. more, but I, I think that's... Well, hang on a second. Uh, by the way, so that, that, that was beautiful. Now, Perry, if you can move up here, Perry, that'll be great. If you can move... Hey, Fred Sanford, if you can move up here... I can't move anymore. You, can, you okay? absolutely can. You absolutely can. Move. All over the floor. I have some Skittles. No! Fucking more of your goddamn Skittles! Get them the fuck out of my home! Get the fuck out of my home! No fucking way! All right, now Perry, you're gonna like this, Perry. No, I need Santa here for a second. Now, Perry, you're gonna like this. If you would, now Santa's a very busy man. He needs to go uh, on his merry way. But before he does, I'm, and Perry, the more you do your uh, desk stuff and bopping, I, uh, the longer the stream's gonna be. So is this more important right now, what you're doing right now? God damn it. You're just adding time to the stream. Let me help you with that. I got it. I got it. Give it to me. I can, I'm, I build things for a living, so. Okay. Now, Perry, this is where you listen and pay attention, okay? And if you want to get out of here at a reasonable time, uh, this is what you're going to do. Now, it's a crowdsource, Perry, and it's going to net you. Perry, I need you straight ahead. I don't know why you're looking down. I'm not down there. And I have fucking pain! Okay, well, you're doing it to yourself, so stop acting like a maniac. Stop bopping, stop darting, look straight ahead, and just listen. Okay? This is a crowdsource that's going to get you $300. And you could use it, because we're not on the air next month, Perry. And, uh, you know, who knows what next car ailment you might have. So for $300, now, Santa, this involves you. 
Oh, yes, yes. I'm all here. Here it is. I'm all and, and let me get through the whole thing. And you are going to accept it. In fact, I'm going to pre-accept it for you because it's so easy. That all depends on what you want me to do. No, it doesn't. Except You're doing it because it's super easy. Santa. That all depends on what you want me to do. Oh. First, he gets the fuck out of my house. Your no, it whatever. involves Santa, Perry. And if you want to pay your bills next month, you are going to say, sit up, Perry. Stop with the dramatics. If you want to pay your bills next month, you are going to accept it. Okay? For $300, Santa will sit in Perry's streaming chair. Perry will sit on Santa's lap. You know, like everybody sits on Santa's lap at Christmas. Okay? So let's start there. Okay. Oh, little boy. <laughs> Okay, let's get down here. Get no, sit on Santa's lap. lap, and you might have to back up a little bit so we can get you both in frame. Okay, this ridiculous. works. That's no, perfect. No, I'm not doing that. Like no, that's this is good. This is good. Now, Perry. Okay. Now we need a candy cane for this, uh, Santa. Do you have a candy cane? Hold on. Let me go. One second. I do have candy canes. Christ. We need one candy cane. A candy cane. One. Okay. Now, and Perry, I need you to put the candy cane in your mouth. You know, like you're about to tell Santa what you want for Christmas. Stop it. What do you want for Christmas, little boy? Hey, Perry, can you do me a favor? Can you look at the camera and, and look all angry? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm already fucking pissed. No, just yeah. freeze. I need, a, I need a freeze frame to get a screenshot. Perry, freeze. Freeze. Do you know what freeze means? Give me, open your mouth like you're yelling. Come on. You want me, you want me to elbow you? I want a freeze frame picture, Perry. Why does this got to take five minutes? Can you stop moving and give me a freeze frame? Thank you. Like that. Freeze. Thank you. Okay. Was that so hard? Now, here is the offer. Okay. Uh, you're, you're already halfway there. So, I'll get the chat back up. You're doing good, Perry. As Kyle Dickey, your character Kyle Dickey, you know, hi, it's Kyle Dickey. You will oh, tell God. Santa the last 92 story of the year. With the candy cane in your oh. mouth, and after the story, Santa, you should tell Santa what you want for Christmas and why you deserve it. Okay? You cannot get off Santa's lap until at least half the candy cane is all white, which you're doing a good job of, okay? So as Kyle Dickey, tell Santa the 92 story. And remember, you can't get off Santa's lap or the, the, the offer is null and void. This is $300. Ready, go. Uh, oh, Answer to Nanny Penny. What happened in 1992, little boy? I went, on, I went on a film shoot, okay? That's over not in Kyle Dickey. Tell it as Kyle Dickey. Well, in 1992... Answer, you got to start with answering the ad. What, ha what happened? I answered an ad in my penny saver, okay? It says, to, you know, how to become a, a, a movie star. Uh -huh. So I went, I went to this guy's office, and he sends me to this uh, studio up in uh, Magic Mountain studio, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and there's a commercial shoot. For San Diego Hospital called Alvarado Hospital, okay? Uh huh, yes. So I'm on this shoot all night long, all right? Uh huh, yes, yes. We're getting, we're standing on a 40 foot platform and stuff and getting pictures taken. Uh huh, well, yes. At the end of that shoot, when one of the girls on the set who rem reminded me of Shannon Duarte, yes, comes up to me and asks me directions back to the Where's freeway. Where's Kyle Dickey, by the way? Me. Huh? Kyle Dickey. Dickey. Kyle Dickey. Oh. This girl who reminded me of Shannon Duarte. <clears throat> Kyle Dickey's British? That's new. You're doing good. Keep it going. This girl who reminded me of, you know, Shannon Duarte. And <clears throat> you wiggled your ass on my knee. It's very she, strange. She, she comes up to me and she asks me for directions back to the freeway. I tell her to Kyle follow. Dickey. Kyle Dickey. Kyle Dickey. Come on, Dickey. Dickey. So, <clears throat> get your fucking hand off of me! And Perry, just remember, it. if you get off Santa's lap, you do not get the 300. And you really need the 300 after what you did with the car. So, Ow. Kyle Dickey. Nothing sexual. I'm just anchoring you. Thank you. Okay? You're welcome. Mm. So, we drive up to the freeway on-ramp. And I pull over, she pulls over behind me, and, and I asked her if she knew where she was going. She says, fine, yeah. I go home, I go to bed, and I get a phone call at 10 a.m. the next morning from this casting director. Tells me to come into the office immediately. 
So I go into the office immediately, and the freaking guy starts staring at my crotch. Hey, Perry, where's Kyle Dickey? Can you hold an, a, a voice for more than I'm two sorry. seconds? I'm sorry. So go back. I, I, I barely talk. You're doing just fine, but keep the accent. Thoughts. You do huh? need character. Can you stay in character, please? I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> well, then what happened uh, next? He's staring the, at your crotch. The, the guy's staring at my crotch, and I tell him straight up, I'm not giving you a blowjob. So he says, well, <clears throat> okay, then, uh, then, um, then uh, I, I, I blow you. Yes. You jerk me off, and I give you a job with Christina Applegate the next day. Did you say no? And say no thank I immediately, you. I immediately said no, and I was about to leave, but then I, but then I stopped. Kyle Dicky. Uh, excuse me, my eyes are all wet. Hold on. His pants are wet too. I can feel that. Oh. <clears throat> Ugh. Keep going. So, Kyle Dicky. So. Hey, hey, uh, forced me to allow him to suck my dick. Can you show me how he did that with the candy no. cane? No. No, no. Perry, the candy cane has to be in your mouth as you're doing this. And you've got to be as Kyle Dickey or you don't get paid. That's the deal. Stop trying to scam. And what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Candy cane in the Pick mouth. Kyle Dickey. Now take it from when you entered the office. So I enter the office. Kyle Dickey. So I enter the office. Wait, is Kyle Dickey Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins? I didn't know Kyle Dickey was British. <laughs> Keep it going, Kyle. I don't, I... You got to the office? <sighs> was Kyle asked... Dickey an, an old age uh, chimney sweeper from uh, you know, with a Cockney accent? Come on. Ky I enter the office. Heidi points to the door, the, door, the uh, sliding door. She, she goes, you know where his office is? And I walked in. Shut the door. What happened happened. I got nothing more to say. No, no. Tell us what happened, Perry. That's the story. And then what did you do to the him? The guy's... I jerked his fucking cock off. That's all. And what did he do to you? He sucked my dick. Ew. Yeah. That's gross. Wait, and then yeah. the next day... No, no. Sit down. Sit down. You got to tell him what happened the next day. Well, you're almost done. You're almost done. Get it back on the lap. There you go. There you go, big boy. Here you go. Look at me. I'm, not, I'm just anchoring you so you don't fall. I'm dizzy. That's why I'm... Okay. You okay? No. So the next day, I I, uh, I uh, went to that uh, film shoot with the Christina Applegate. Uh, Kyle Dickey did. Kyle Dickey did. So let's go. And on our lunch break, I asked Christina if she'd like a piece of cake, and she said, no, thank you. That's how I met Christina Applegate. That's all. That's very Merry good. Merry Christmas Mary. to all. Merry Christmas. Now, can I get you out of here, please? Well, I think you just need to tell me what you want for Christmas. Yes. We'll be all good here. Toyota right? 4Runner. Well, 2024 Toyota 4Runner. Thank you. Good day. Well, Harry, I'm saying if you were on, if you did more nice things, I would have gotten that for you. Yeah, sure. I can, I can and I will. Maybe next year, okay? Yeah, sure. Be nice to Tom Brennan. I'm always nice always to Tom Brennan. Always nice to Tom. He's always good to be me. Be nice to your team. Yes, And I be am. a good host. Go ahead. Merry Christmas, Perry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, Tom, I can't. I must get going because I have a lot of stuff to do tonight, as you can imagine. I, I do. Yeah, I'll, I'm. Hopefully, I'll see. I, I'll. I'll see you later tonight at some point. Uh, I'm going to leave out some yes. milk and cookies for you. Uh, yes. Good luck on your journey. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm sorry that Perry was such a terrible, terrible host. But uh, we, everybody here at PCL, loves you, you know, and we want to wish you I, a Merry Christmas, you. Santa. You've all been very good, and I'm going to be start collecting some of Perry's things that I promised you all. You're not. Touching a goddamn thing! Well, Santa, if you could, right here. Matt Matt C would one. really like that skateboard photo uh, by the Grinch, Santa. Shut up! Oh, I gotta get my stuff real quick, Perry. Just pack this up. My sack is inside out. That's okay. get out of my house. I'm just getting my things. All right, Perry. Well, get out of my hey. fucking house. Get out the Christmas spirit. Okay. Out I'm of the house. I'm going. I'm going, Perry.
Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! You're not moving, Merry Christmas, Barry! Merry Christmas! Motherfucking asshole! Son of a fucking bitch! All right, Perry, sit down. Let's uh, let, let's uh. You son of a fucking bitch! Son of a bitch! All right, Perry, sit down, or we can't end. Sit down, sit down. No, leave that there. No, don't throw that away. Garbage! Perry, take it out of the garbage. Take it out. That's not garbage. Take that out of the garbage. These are all things you could do later. Now he's fucking fucked up my goddamn... <sighs> Perry, you're screaming so much you're blowing out the microphone. Can you please get those scrolls out of the garbage, put the phone in your pocket... Now, sit down and pull up a chair, please. Sit, pull up the chair here, please. Perry, we're not gonna end anytime soon until you do your job, so stop whatever you're doing. Okay? Uh, fuck now, you. No, not F me, Perry, F you, or you don't get paid, okay? Put the phone down. I don't know, what's the phone, what's the thing with the phone? Put that in your pocket. Now, here's what I want. What is that thing that you got by your door, that, gla that green glass bottle that's uh, right there with the note on it? Can you sit up? Can you pull, please come up? No, on the desk, Perry. I don't know why you're looking behind that? me. On the desk. For this. Yes, what is that sign on it? Grass soda. What's the note? There's a note on the back. Mr. Caravello, your food tasting stream continues to break records here at Twitch. To congratulate you, we're pleased to offer you a bottle of grass soda to try live on, on your stream and give a review. Lovingly from Twitch. I got to go get the bottle opener. Back. That's nice. Hmm. How is it? It tastes like uh, carbonated soda. That's nice. What else was at your door uh, before you so rudely uh, threw everything away? What are you saying? What What else was at your door when you first came in uh, with Santa? There was some... I don't know. Can you bring that over? Whatever it was. I know we got a little sidetracked. I don't know because uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Everything that uh, that was at the door was uh, was seen. What was in the McDonald's bag? I know there was Sprite, which you didn't want, but what else was in there? Filet of fish. Filet of fish. A cold, okay. uh, right. stale filet of fish. Uh. I'm in pain. All right, Mr. In Pain, can we move up here so I can get through this? I told you I'd do my best to get done at a reasonable time, okay? Don't look at the don't look at the time. I said we'd be done by around <sighs> 2 2 30. So we got about another hour. 2 2 30? Yes. 2 2 30. I gotta be so I gotta be somewhere that takes 90 minutes for me to go. By three o'clock. No, it doesn't take ninety. It takes about an hour. I looked it up. It takes about an hour exactly. Okay. In traffic, a little longer. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Oh, 
All right. What? All right. It, it, uh, there's no traffic today, Perry. It's going to take you about a little less than an hour. I looked it up. You're a maniac who leaves. Ex, uh... So it takes about an hour. Yeah, a little less than an hour. So you got plenty of time, okay? I guess uh, we got to catch up on some super chats. Right? And, and also, to the people at home, if you're sending in a tip comment or anything uh, like that, um, where is that? Well, here at streamelements.com slash prayer underscore care of all underscore live slash tip. If we don't get to it today, we'll get to it on the next stream, which should be New Year's Eve or if we do a pop-up right before New Year's Eve, which is possible. Okay? If I'm home. Oh, you'll be home. How do you know? Godzu, thank you for the 500 cheers. You're a great guy. Thank you. Stop darting and bopping and all that. If you, the, the, the more you can actually pay attention, God, your, your shirt is soaked. I'm hurting like crazy because of the humidity. Randy said he never blew you and you never jerked him off. All you did was detain lie. his car. So why lie, lie. about it, you blithering liar? Lie. 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 Oh, by the way, uh, I got word from Santa Claus that uh, he left you a gift uh, on your table next to the guest chair on the on the uh, coffee table. I assume you want to check for that. Nice little gift from Santa Claus. This? Maybe, yeah. Look, can we open that, please? Can you can you open it with with the presence of mind that you're doing this on camera? All right, the band Chicago. I don't like this shirt. No, I'm not going to wear it or keep it. I love that's, Chicago that's Bears. Nice no, no, not that's gay nice bears, you fucking moron. All right, just leave it aside. Don't throw it away. That's a nice shirt. God damn it. All right, come over here. Hey, can you move that green drink out of the shot? It's like right, and, uh, you know, just finish it. Uh, thank you for the cheers. Whoever you are. When Perry got to Randy's office, he had to take a massive shit, so they went in the bathroom and Randy gave Perry a blumpkin on the office shitter 1992. Wrong. 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 Absolutely wrong. I am on my way for this Christmas Eve bash. I'm ready to smoke cigarettes with Harry Perry. No, you're not. I have Dave's on the way as well. Men holding boners. You're not allowed. I got places to be. Not allowed. Perry, for Christmas I will be taking the grocery diploma. It's mine and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm taking it to Florida. Men holding hands. Men holding hands. You're not allowed hands. in my home. Hands. You're not allowed in my home. You're not allowed. You're not touching any of my fucking items in my home. If 
if Santa visits you tonight, just pretend he's Randy Callahan and help him empty his sack for three meal vouchers. Merry Christmas. Hail Santa. Oh, 666, Bone. Shut up. You people, I can't stand this crap. Now the hat's all fucking ruined. I don't fucking believe this shit. It's not ruined, Barry. It's fine. I, the, the hat is fucking ruined. It looks great, Barry. Can, you keep, can you keep it on, please? It looks great. Looks great, my... You, you fucking hit this moron. Fucking prick ruined my goddamn hat. Uh, son of a bitch. Just, just put it on. If you'll get in, Santa will get you a new hat if it's really that bad. Come on. If you can afford uh, five thousand dollars for uh, repairs on a two thousand car, uh, a and little for a fucking year, yeah, goddamn right, I can afford it. Okay, good. Congratulations. So I, I think you're okay. All right. I keep that car for another forty fucking years. Hey, Perry, you want to see something that's going to melt your heart? What now? I'm going to show you something that's going to melt your heart. Literally melt your heart. Uh, so, you know our good friend Steve and Jess? Yes. Where does Steve and Jess live? Australia. That's correct. They live in Australia. Well, right now in Australia, it is Christmas morning, and Steve just open a Christmas present from Jess that he loves and it's one that you sent and you signed and look how happy he is look at this that's Steve and Jess right now that's, that's very nice practically live very nice yes uh, Jess Beautiful. got the uh, Perry had a spare Windy City Heat poster from the special 20th anniversary mm -hmm. uh, Hardly anybody has this Very poster, nice. by the way. This is a super rare poster. It was only made for the event. Perry has one in the back framed. Right. And now Steve has one signed by you. And, well, I, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Steve and Jess. Merry Christmas to Steve and Jess, yes. Okay. And, uh, and Perry, let's, get, let's get your passport in order so you can go to that wedding. What? I said, let's get your passport in order so we can go to that wedding in Australia. Oh, 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 oh. forgive me. Forgive me. I'm, 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 when you said passport, I'm thinking, uh, what I'm picturing in my mind is uh, you guys stealing my, my certificates off my wall. Well, that'll be that'll be your, the wedding gift for Steve. That's not, my, my certificates are never going to be sold or given to anybody but me. Okay, well, uh, Merry Christmas, Steve and Jess, and Merry Christmas, everybody, everywhere. All right. Now, Perry, come on. Let's get through this. Look at this. Look at, look, look, look at me. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking at you. Okay, well, let's get through it. I just got out of the shower. Now I got to jump back in the shower. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Damn it. That's what happens when you're a maniac. Perry. Chubb. A very Perry Christmas to you and the PCL crew. To all PCL fans. The Chubb Club. All of Chicago to every gay person, and Satan himself. I don't wanna, uh, don't, don't talk to me about that like that. Please. I, I can't deal with it anymore. You know, Perry, that's drenched. Why don't you put on that new Chicago Bears uh, shirt that Santa gave you? Just, let's just try it out. Let's just see, just, just for the rest of the stream. What are you the one you just got, the one you just tossed over to the side. That's your cut. It'll be cute and funny. Why don't you wear that for the rest of the? I'm time? not putting that fucking shirt on. Fuck you. Right, maybe some other time. Some other time. God damn it. Perry, <sighs> you throw your money away because you're a stupid asshole. Brian isn't, which is why your mom gave him the money. You owe your bro an apology. 
no comment. Oh my bro, an apology. Fucking lying, bank robbing, thieving, fucking prick. Stay out of my life, stay off my stream, and go fuck yourself. You and that, uh, that, that, that fucking high desert whore. The both of you, go fuck yourself. And I gotta take a shit right now before I shit my pants. Son of a bitch! Hey, Barry, can you hold it? Because it's just gonna make things longer. Ah, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. Before I shit my pants, I can't. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Ricky Horny, Ricky Horny. Ricky Horny, Ricky Horny. Watching this, thank you because those rear diapers are the best. You can pee, pee, pee. I don't want to shit in a diaper, but you can pee in them more than once. Not a problem. Those depends diapers, if you if you pee in them once, uh, sometimes you get lucky with the diaper, and sometimes it, it, your your dick is is pointed out of the. Uh, Depends, um, you know, which which is like the area that covers, you know, your the privates. Does that mean you're close to being done? Hopefully. Oh. Hello? Yeah, good timing. Good. Thank you. Here, why don't you uh, read some uh, super chats? Oh, Real quick, let me wipe these off. So I can see.
Take your time, Perry. You got all the time in the world. I'm not taking my time. I'm trying to wipe them off so I can see. Okay. Now, Merry Christmas, Perry. May your stocking be stuffed with fuck you with cigarettes. You <clears throat> behind stuffed with RC's bone. <clears throat> That's the answer, fucking loser. Never will that ever happen. You evil worshiping, Satan worshiping, weirdo, off my stream now. Cock suckers, I'm sick of it. That never happened and that never will happen. Oh my God. Will you be kissing anyone on the mistletoe for New Year's Eve? I don't know. It depends on if you're here or not. If you're here, if uh, Jules down the hall is here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Because she wants to be a part of the stream, too. So... Wait, I'm sorry. Your neighbor wants to be a part of the stream. The my my bodybuilding girlfriend, yeah, down the hall. She wants to be part of the stream. Yeah. Uh, open invitation on New Year's Eve. Tell her to come New Year's Eve. You got it. Okay. <sighs> Bidding on Perry's Corolla closes at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today. Current high bid is Mark Cuban. Oh. What's his bid for? A hundred thousand dollars or what? So hurry and bid now. Uh, winner takes delivery on January first. It will not sell. My car is not for sale. Blow it out, your low life loser. Fuck it, an ass. God, all fucking mighty. My Corolla will never be for sale. All the money I've put into that goddamn thing. I heard the NYE special guests will be. So we goats not allowed in my house. He'll be in your home and follow and follow you around with a mistletoe hanging from the front of your pants. Go fuck you. Mistletoe hanging from my front pants. Why? So he could suck my dick too? Fucking weirdos. Get off of my stream. Get out of my home. Never, you're never allowed in my home. Oh, shit. I just wiped them off and they're already fucked up again. Because I'm sweating like a slob. Sweat dripping on my glasses. There's that side and on this side. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Jim, come work for me. Perry blocks you and fires you and wastes the money you earn him. Come work for me. Block that fucking whore. She's not allowed on my stream anymore. But you won't block her. No, you're going to want to see how pissed off he's. she puts me, puts me through all the crap. She fucking makes me uh, go ballistic over. Yeah. I don't want it. Brian and Hot Amy are the real Caravellas. 
They're so cool, while this fat gay creep is bullshitting with a piece of garbage Corolla and burglar porn. Shut up. Brian and Amy are nothing but a bunch of fucking thieving liars and crooks. Brian did his time in jail, but now he needs to go back. And Amy needs to start doing her time behind bars. Fucking thieves. Consider this my last donation and last month of subscribing till you learn the value of a dollar. Get off your ass for once, this has become pathetic, middle finger. Yeah, thanks, whatever. <sighs> Toyota thanks Percy Carmelo for commitment on keeping his mom's crappy Toyota alive. Only such a fool would dump 5k into a 2000 Toyota. Try IKEA, men holding hands. Try IKEA and then I'm going back and forth to the auto shop over and over and over and over and over again. This car you fix and it'll stay running for miles and miles and years and years. Then it needs to be repaired. Once in a blue moon. Ugh. Well, you've had three blue moons Ugh. in the past three weeks. Yeah. Because it hasn't been the type of work done to the car that was done. Was never done before in 23 years. Never needed a, a, a power steering hose in 23 years, ever. Never needed uh, transmission boots in 23 years. Pfft, two weeks, it'll be 24, which will make you the car 24 years old. So uh, yeah, 23 and a half year old car. Uh, the, the, the stuff done to it lasted 23. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, Garrett, I hope Perry's auction is going well. Did the auction of Perry's generate enough money for the move to Florida? It will do him good for his neck hugs. Goodbye. Next. <laughs> yeah, it'll lay me on my fucking back where I won't be able to fucking move. Florida sucks. God damn it. Oh shit, this is fucking. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Stop pissing away money on that piece of shit car offer the mechanic a blow job. Randy gave you three SAG vouchers in 92. You can at least save a few bucks. Go fuck yourself. Fucking sick, perverted weirdos. Stay off my stream. Hey, Team PCL. I have a question for Perry and Toom. Who is your guys' favorite tip commenter and least favorite commenter? Thanks for a great year. Everybody. No, no, answer specifically. Who's your least favorite and then who's your favorite? Uh, I I don't know who who's my favorite is Stephen Jess one 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 two the Stephen Jess are my favorite least favorite would probably be Soviet Goat or Carl Nelson those two assholes.
Oh, shit. I can't believe this. I'm soaked. Thank you for subscribing. You are too dumb to own a car. Jim is now selling raffle tickets for the hunk of shit Toyota. Good luck to whoever buys it. Bye! It's not yours. Jim's not gonna be able to sell my car. It's my car. My car. No one can own my car unless I sell it to them. I have the pink slip. I have the car. Fuck you. Here's my breathalyzer. Christ. Oh, shit. Oh. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, by the way, Jim wanted me to remind people uh, for the raffle for Perry's car, it's five dollars per ticket or twenty five for an arm length of tickets. So, what? Con contact Jim. You're all fired. Go fuck yourselves. My car is not for sale. Will never be for sale. So fuck you. Suckers. Perry, once your car is gone, I'll allow you to keep my bike. But I want your boogie board now. Send it to me with my skateboarding photo. Bye bye. You want to steal? You want to steal to boot up your ass is what you want. Son of a bitch. Perry, chub. From one Toyota guy to another, it's one hundred percent worth the money to maintain. If your tranny boots are leaking, the fish need to be removed. Tranny boots were leaking. The boots were replaced. Yeah, after twenty uh, after twenty three and a half years of having a vehicle without tranny boots uh, replaced, it, it's about time they leaked. Okay, twenty three and a half years, because in two weeks the car will be uh, twenty four years old. One hundred twenty two thousand miles on it. It's got no miles for tw for a twenty four year old vehicle, right? But uh, those boots were bound to need to be replaced. Okay, that's number one. And then the power steering hose, number two. So uh, that's why I fix and repair and, and maintain my vehicle. Yeah, it might be expensive, but it's because the vehicle has treated me so well for all of these years. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> Mr. Caravello, 
We need you to bring the Toyota back immediately. There are more repairs we need to perform as quickly as possible. Not happening! Not happening. More repairs were needed, yeah. <sighs> sure. More repairs were needed. Just saying that there were more repairs needed, just get me to bring the car back in. No. Not for another 90 days. Then another oil change in 90 days. Okay. Well, any more messages? Thanks for not mentioning the storm coming in Cincinnati on Weather it Matters, Jerky. Now I'm Snowden and I can't stay with you for the holidays. Crying face, broken heart, kissing face. Sorry, I, uh, I'm not from Ohio, so. I mean, yeah, I've been to Cleveland once, but uh, never been to Cincinnati, and uh, I don't do, re you know, weather reports in all 50 states or all 48 uh, states in this part of the country. I don't even do a weather report for Alaska or Hawaii, so. <clears throat> If, by the way, Perry, uh, Jim wanted to make a correction here, you know, to, just so you don't take things the wrong way. Uh, he's not selling your car. He's trying to make it look like my car's for sale. No, he's not. He wanted me to tell you he's not selling your car. Okay? It's not up for auction. No, it's a raffle. He's raffling your car. Okay? It's a raffle. That's People buy raffles. That, that's a raffle. It's a raffle. Means for sale. A raffle is not selling my car, and it's not being raffled off either. Well, for tax Losers. for tax purposes, we're calling it a raffle. Okay? It's not being raffled off. Tax pur purposes, please. Well, Perry, I just seen this. You're seeing it. That is not a scene with my childhood best friend. It was edited video, which is a complete lie. It was real. It was a thousand percent real. It's do. It didn't think you. Uh, it didn't think you got down like that, Perry. Now, the whole world knows you're beautifully gay. <sighs> Not in a happy way. I'm proud of you, Paris Caravello. Yeah, sure. Because <clears throat> it's all an edited lie. <clears throat> You guys are killing me. My bottom was sore for over a month after Randy pounded my backside into butter. That's when I realized love hurts. Please send me gay, gay stuff for, for chi. C-H-E-F. I don't know what the fuck you mean by that last sentence. Please send me gay stuff for chi. I, I, again, I don't know what you're talking about. Perry Caravello and riding my bike, uh, my dirt bike without a bicycle seat because it feels good when it rams my butt. You're sick. That doesn't make me a, a homosexual. Pfft. Again, you're disgusting. Yeah, right. The seat post going up your ass, that's grosser than shit. Very painful. Or a banana seat going up your ass.
heading to a holiday HH with uh, the hubby. Uh, let's see, Merry Christmas to Perry, forward slash Tom B, forward slash Garrett, forward slash Jim, forward slash TT, and all the demons. See you all at Perry's NYE pool party. No, 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 no. I'll be there with Smokes and Sprite. No, 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 no. Good, good day. No one's allowed here. Sorry. But I believe you'll be here, and that is it. No one else is allowed here. Uh, no, your neighbor is coming. What's the, what's her name? Jules. <laughs> yeah. Juliet. According to you. Maybe. Maybe not. She might have other plans. I'll have a talk with her. <sighs> See how calm Perry is in the lap of another man? Go fuck off, you fucking sick fucking demon. He's a natural, and thank you, Tom B., for putting up with this baboon. I don't know how you did it. Merry Christmas, you evil Satan worshiping, Satan worshiping number. I don't know either, uh, Greedo, but uh, Merry Christmas to you. Fucking. Mm. Oh, it hurt. Prepare for Christmas, I'm getting the video of you and just, that is not a fucking <sighs> never happened, liar. It's an edited fucking thing that my cunt sister-in-law Amy put together. Yeah. And then put it on VHS tape. Oh yeah, she uh photoshopped this, photoshopped that, and then put it on VHS tape. Make it look like it was a VHS video. I'm dumb. I know I'll transfer a fucking CD to a VHS tape. Brian's got all that equipment over at his house. <sighs> Perry, you need consent before kissing someone under the mistletoe. Don't push yourself on him slash her like you did Shannon Doherty la, look like. Uh, shut up. I didn't push myself on Shannon Doherty look like. She assumed something and, and, and kind of freaked. Went to give her a kiss in the cheek and she jumped to the passenger side of the car. I wasn't going to jump in the fucking car. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for all the business this year. I just put down that money on a brand new Toyota Tundra. I think your head gaskets need checked though. My head gaskets are fine. Perry would give head to every mechanic in LA just to keep his pathetic Kia clown car running. Burn the Kia. Burn the Kia. Throw I will drive a Kia. Kia. I will never drive a Kia. I will only drive Toyota. Sorry. Toyota or Lexus or forget it. All right, Perry, let me uh, get to the final round of Tom's tips for uh, this very special Christmas Eve stream. Uh, if you can let me get that out before you uh, start yelling at me, that would be appreciated. Uh, this Tom's tip is from our friend James Blah Blah. Perry, you attended a prestigious grocery store school and received a diploma. What were your classmates like and what did you learn? Also... When you were constipated as a kid, did you try prune juice first or 
did your mom immediately say, okay, Scare Master, grab your ankles. So let's take the first part first. Uh, what were your classmates like at uh, grocery store school? They were all, they were all uh, young ladies and they were all very nice. Very nice people. And Class what did you learn years. at uh, grocery store school? How to run a uh, 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 check register. Do you think you still have those skills today or did they no. uh, leave, leave you? No, because the check check registers have changed and uh, That's true. and they they went from uh, you know touching the buttons to um, scanning the uh, barcodes so uh, right. everything has changed. Well, you updated, learned, so. You, so you learned how to do the machine, but did you ever actually, once you got in the grocery store business, did you ever work as a cashier? Uh, only at the health food store for, um, um, what was I, there for six months. But I was mostly in the produce department, so I, I only ran the register like two, two or three times. Right. Probably smart on their part. Uh, uh, then lastly... Um, Well, this is kind of a joke, but uh, when you were constipated as a kid, uh, did you ever try prune juice? Yeah. You did? Yes. Okay. Did that work? Yes. Okay. Here is one from Greg Lampert. Another Australian friend. Turnmaster, it's Christmas Day here in Australia. And I think it's only right that you give us all a Christmas present. What I would like for Christmas this year is a full account of how you managed to bed Mike Majestic's wife while he was dying painfully in the hospital. You've been more than happy to go into deep detail on the 92 incident. Over None of your goddamn motherfucking ignorant demeaning demoralizing reminding fucking business mind it get off of my stream and kiss my ass however this episode of your life has been mysteriously unaddressed i want to know how you lined the liaison up what you said to her before during and after sex to get her to sleep with you i don't remember did you refer to Mike while having sex with his wife? What positions did you engage in? Did you attempt to kill any other pets? And any other bits of information which might come to mind? Please do this for all of us. After all, it is Christmas. Seriously. Well, Perry, it's a very unique uh, request here, Perry. Uh, just for the folks at I home. I don't remember. I don't know. And again, mind your motherfucking business. Uh, just for the folks at home, tell everybody who Mike Majestic was, please. Who might not know. It was my neighbor across the hall who was an escape artist. That I used to uh, work with uh, down at the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, as well as the Santa Monica Pier. I used to drive him down there so he can do his shows. Okay. And then he got ill. Uh, did he die of can Was it cancer that he passed from? I don't remember what it was. Okay, but he, as he lay dying in the hospital, Perry struck up a uh, romantic rendezvous with his uh, wife. So I guess what but he wants to know is how did you go about, um, you know, bagging the wife? And I don't even remember. Don't who, even remember. Who sweet talked who? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, hmm. because uh, she wasn't. She she was feeling uh, very. Uh, Depressed, and it wasn't who we talked to. What better way to cheer somebody up whose uh, husband is dying than to uh, have sex with you? Whatever. I, I, again, I don't remember. And, was, um, was that it? Were you like, honey, let me cheer you up. Please kindly come to my uh, do not Do apartment. not go down that road again with me. All right. Maybe we'll visit that other Okay, Fred Sanford, please, hand down. Come on. Fuck you! My goddamn heart's on! Boom. Oh, good. So Boom. scream more. Boom. So scream. Send me out, cut suckers. So Get off my goddamn stream right now before I die right here. Good. So scream more, Fucker. Perry. That, that's going to help. Scream more like a maniac. That'll help you. Please put your hand down, Perry. And the, Perry, the more you dart away, the longer it's going to be. So please, come here. I got, I got more Tom's tips to read. Over here. Keep going. Keep coming. 
Okay. Uh, this next Tom tip is from a Jared Kushner. Do you know who that is? Guy from Vegas? <laughs> no, that's Jared Kodiker. Jared Kushner. The name sounds familiar. I'm not sure. I, I believe he's married to Ivanka Trump. Oh, okay. Uh, Jared says, keep my, na my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Between that, your love for Hamas, and tearing down hostage posters, I'm canceling your bank account, SAG membership, and gym membership. Good day. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. So he's going to cancel your Equinox gym membership. Well, I'm not a member of those gyms. My gym is right here in my building. Here's a Tom's tip from the Reseda Bureau of Toilets. Mr. Pay Ray Frank Bajajello, the RBT wishes you, the PCL crew, and the tens of fans you have a very hearty and kindly Merry Christmas. Thanks. Mr. Bagagello, please practice safe toilet usage this holiday season in accordance to California law. Limit your poops to no more than two per day and peeing to not like, exceed like more than three peas per day. Please, Perry, do not talk over me. Limit your poops to no more than two per day and your peas to three per day. Going in the sink or in a sealable container is allowed in unlimited qualities. Furthermore, any guests in your apartment are permitted to one, use of your toilet. Two uses if they wash their hands with toothpaste. P.S. Have a Java ho 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 holiday season from the Reseda Bureau of Toilets. Never allowed in my home if you touch my toothpaste Using it like it's a hand soap, moron. You're wasting my toothpaste. All right. Here is one from your friend, Soviet Goat. He's not my friend. He's a fan. Merry Christmas, my love. Go on. I'm sad to say I have a bit of bad news about our New Year's Eve plans. Unfortunately, my father's parole officer won't allow him to leave the state, so I will be flying to California alone. My dad is heartbroken. He was excited to watch us play Monopoly. I couldn't wait to watch you hold a gun to his head as you raped him pulling the trigger and blowing your load and his brains all over my face at the same time. To make up for it... That's disgusting! And to make it up to me, I figure we could swing by the cemetery after you pick me up. After you pick me and Bob Levy up from the airport, Bob can film us as we dig up John D's dead dad and F that tiny Asian corpse Fuck until it snaps you, in half. Fuck you, you evil... Now, pop that top and jiggle those fat tits, baby. Sincerely, Soviet Goat. So we bye want bye. you to dig up your uh, best friend's dad. You're, wow. you're disgusting. 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 Ugh. All right, this next one is from Sketch317. So, I'll be arriving at Burbank Airport next Sunday... I was coming for the grocery store certificate, but since Santa You're not allowed gave here. me, but since Santa gave me your computer chair instead, can You're not you disinfect here. the chair for me and not jerk off to buff granny muscular porn You're for the not next week here. before I pick it up? Thank you, buddy. But since I'm going to be on stream, we might as well ask Bob if he'll sign that useless grocery store participation certificate for not Matt allowed Seacher. here you're not touching my pictures and bob levy's not allowed to touch my pictures remember perry santa said it's our stuff now men holding hands to your santa hand. is a bum and he's never allowed in my home again god i gotta go 
go back. This is just crazy. Thank you for subscribing. Oh. Ouch. Thank you for subscribing. Mr. Caravello, with all the many shits you take, your refusal to wipe could plunge the toilet paper industry into a deep recession. Please reconsider. Go away. I always wipe. That's why I use uh, moist wipes as well as paper wipes. Dumbasses. <sighs> Perry, it's Weasel the cat. Even I lick my ass thoroughly after I poop. Are you an animal? Are you lower life form than me? Resume wiping. I've always been a wiper and always will be a wiper. With paper, paper and moist paper. The Costco wet wipes. I mean, meaning Kirkland brand wet wipes. Hello, I am informing you that once your producer Jim is officially fired, as per his contract, his severance requires your snowboard skis and diploma. Bye. Merry Christmas, PCL fam. Perry and I wanted to let you all know that, thanks to the constant humping, I am now pregnant. Send baby name ideas to Jim. Whatever. Thank you for subscribing. Harry, since it is Christmas, I was hoping you could take us through your fanny pack. Never. Screen is frozen. Hello. We there? Okay. Hey life partner, hope you are having a nice day. I know we all celebrate Satan here but Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone else too. 666 I'm not, I don't do that. Hey, Perry, pull yourself together, please. Stop with this dramatic. Oh, there you go, yelling again. Pull yourself together, please. And read the super chat. I see we're sitting on Satan's lap with gay intent. You just picked him out earlier because. You can't fake being straight. <sighs> Whatever. I'll read the whole thing as it's written, please. I already read it. Did you read the end? Sorry, I didn't hear. Yeah, it. I just can't kick. Okay, you're gonna have to just, speak up. You just kicked him out 
earlier because you can't fake being straight. No, I am 110% straight. Is Gina, Scarlett, Selma, or any of the other girls showing up on New Year's? Okay, what's your favorite pasta sauce? Also, maybe the the mistletoe was for Tom, for you and Tom B. No, my favorite pasta sauce is the uh, Trader Joe brand pasta sauce with mushrooms. Perry, now that I'm a homeless drug addict, Jim said I could crash at your place in January. He also Never. said it was okay to smoke crack in your apartment. Never. And I've been free and clean and clear of that shit since New Year's Day 2020 or to the year 2000. You fucking sick bastard. Turning me into a fucking drug addict till the new millennium. Piece of shit. New Year's. Thank you for subscribing, Wavy G. Smash the like button, everyone, so my wish of Perry jerking me off will happen. Love you, Perry and PCL family from San Antonio, Texas. Merry Christmas to all. Oh, thank you. Yo, Perry, sometimes I'm mean-spirited towards you and delight in your misfortunes. You, make me laugh, though, and you, make the world a better place, bless you. Thank you. See, that was nice, Barry. You could say more than just thank you. Yeah, well, well I, I hope uh, we all have a good 2024 in front of us. Uh, I, I'm, I'm speechless with a lot of the crap that's been going on on tonight's stream. I'm hurting like fucking crazy right, right now. I got to change the and, shirt. And, and, all right. Come on, Perry, enough with the grab in the chest. It's, the, it's not a I got to change this shirt and, 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 and... When we're done, you had your chance to change your shirt. You said no. What? You had your chance earlier to change your shirt to that Chicago not Bear shirt. Not on stream. I'm not doing it on the fucking stream. Okay, well, that's what we're doing on the effing stream. You're no, dropped. we're not doing it on the stream. Perry, you were naughty this year. Let's Santa carve a pentagram into the credenza to a makeup. Hail the Red Lord. Hail Santa. Six 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 L L L L L L. Hail Santa. Goodbye. You don't ever carve a doggone thing in my beautiful, beautiful mother's dresser. Jealous son of a bitch. Hey Perry. That shitty car is no longer your mom's Corolla. You've replaced so many parts that it's a completely new car. Like a ship of Theseus. Car. Rowboat. It's like a brand new car now, I know. Not a piece of shit. Brand new 2020-2023-24 Corolla. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. I don't have a voice. <clears throat> Perry, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire has you in the credits. What? Not allowed. I wasn't even in the movie. Well, I know for, I was in the movie. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I don't even remember being being in a movie called Ghostbusters. So my name is in the credits. You say uh. Perry Rears has a new product, the Rears Rectum Master Five Thousand Adult Diaper. It can handle multiple shits without your needing a bathroom break for number two. 
I'm not interested because I use the toilet. Perry, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is sponsored by Toyota. Okay. Are they going to give me a new Toyota? Because I don't see me in that movie. And if I'm in that movie, what did I do? Hey, Scrooge Master. It's you, boy, little gaper. You better send me your computer mouse right away. And don't get any of your dude juice on it. Merry Christmas, PCL. Little raper, uh, you you get nothing from my home. Sick bastard. I came to your door, but I heard you yelling at Santa and got scared. My Perry little Christmas is ruined. Oh, please. Anywho, I left you a special crystal art tree on your patio. Go look. Oh, shit. Yeah, go take a look, Barry. That's nice. Mario Carey stopped by. It's too uh, bad you were yelling at Santa. Yeah, there's a crystal thing right there. We'll go get it. Valuable. You gotta show that to the screen, please. It's called a cigarette. It goes in the goddamn garbage. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> what? <laughs> you want know, you close that up? This. this is lovely. Wow. Oh, sit down and show it. Don't just stand there and shove it in the face of the stream. That's real crystal. Yeah, it's a real crystal. That's what do not throw that away. Hell no. You know what, the, uh... That looks like it's from the uh the L A C M A. You know what that is? No. You don't know what that is? No. It's the art museum. What art museum? Which art museum? It's the Los Angeles Museum of Art. Like the main LA art museum. You know the one with all oh. those pillars with, with the lights? You know, it's very oh, famous. Oh, okay. Now it's in the bag. On display. Wow. Definitely keep that. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big crystal... Uh, um on on uh you know uh play cards well, what's the name of that shaped item that uh, looks like a thing of crystal spade yeah i think yeah i think i know what you're talking about is that a spade yeah. looks just like a spade right got that shape well, that's very nice you say very, thank you mariah carey thank you very very much for that and if that's from, from mariah carey thank you and if she came to the freaking uh, patio to put that in the patio. Why don't you yell my name into the doorway so I can open the door for you? Well, did you Let hear what you she in? said? She said she got scared because you were yelling and attacking Santa oh, Claus. Oh, please. 
You ruin things. You ruin she these things. She can kick my ass. Uh, Gina Carano can kick my ass. Scarlett Johansson can kick my ass. F- scared. Oh, I'm scared of his voice being loud. Uh. Remember, I had three neck surgeries. After neck surgery, three, three, this arm is weak as shit. I went from benching 210 pounds to benching 45 pounds, maybe 60 pounds if I'm lucky. So there's my bench, uh, my my bench workouts. I can't lift, I can't bench anymore like that any, anymore. So uh, my my strength is down to that terrible of a level. Yeah, pull downs. With the pull down bar, went from uh, um, I used to do the whole rack down to 45 pounds. So yeah, I went from over uh, 250 pound pull down on the on the pull down rack down to 45 pounds. So I've lost a ton of strength. So all the more reason why you shouldn't be attacking and assaulting people. What? All the more reason why you shouldn't be attacking and assaulting people. I'm not attacking or assaulting. You, you people. were attacking Santa. That's why Mariah Carey got scared yeah. and. Just came around to the patio. Oh, God, whatever. Look, I got to be somewhere in under an hour. I want Gary's car raffle. The first thing I'm going to do if I win is smell the driver's seat and then drive that piece of shit off a cliff. Not allow. It's not being, it's not raffled. It's never to be raffled. It's not a raffling item. It's my car. It's not a raffling item, dipshits. And listen, I got to be somewhere in under an hour. And okay, Perry, then let's get through the stream and stop darting and bopping your eyes over to the clock, Father Time, okay? I told you the stream would be four hours. You were late because you had to take a little uh, diarrhea poop. Dump, yeah, yeah diarrhea okay. poop. Okay, so now just do the rest, do the rest of the stream, please, without any... Uh, Nonsense. Looking down at the floor is not where the stream is. When you have neck pains, it's what happens. Perry, Ghostbusters Toyota Empire has you in the... Toyota, Ghostbusters Toyota Empire? Please. Uh, how does Ghostbusters... Have me in the credits uh, when I wasn't even in the movie. Or or was I in the movie and I didn't even uh, get, get a paycheck from the from the uh, job? Baby, it's Gina. I heard that you make love to your car by sticking your penis in the exhaust pipe. That's disgusting. Oh, please. And you sicko, vomiting face. What's this about seeing me tomorrow? Are you coming over tomorrow? Did she say she wants to see me tomorrow? Hello? Tom? Perry, have you seen Ghost Buttholes more than 4X? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh my god. Perry, the stream's over here. The more time you waste looking everywhere else, the longer it's going to be. And by the way, Perry, did you bring in, there was a delivery earlier, you had a, like a, it was like a big, like, lollipop candy cane. Did you bring that in? Mm. Can you check by go? your door, please? No, no, nothing by the door. Well, it's... with all the chaos of, you know, Santa and everything, I just want to make sure. It should be over here. Right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, can we see that, please? That's right. When did you get into business and branding these things? You should talk to me about this. I didn't 
go in the business and branding this. They just put my, they just put a stupid sticker saying, uh, scary, scary Perry, uh, stay gate board. Wait, can I see that again? Can you I would never, can you sit I would down? never have that sticker. I would never Let me do see the sk like sticker that. up. Well, no. save that. Save that. Save that for New Year's Eve. Not my branding. That's for goddamn sure. Put it on the table. All right, come back here. Credits, please. Uh, no, we got a little bit more to do. What? Sorry, you read What's that your one. favorite pasta sauce also? Maybe the mistletoe was for... Well, mistletoe was for... What's your favorite pasta sauce? Uh, Mushroom flavor. I mean, I mean Tra Trader Joe's the brand... But I like mushrooms in my sauce. Mushrooms and sometimes mushrooms and sausage in the sauce. Perry, do you think you'll burn in hell for sleeping with a man's wife while he's on his deathbed or for your homosexual acts with Randy? I didn't do anything homosexual with Randy. I was sexually assaulted by a guy named Randy. Come on now, it wasn't sexual assault. You could have left at any time. Here I am a professional appraiser of precious stones and crystals. And I can tell you, and I can tell that you have absolutely no idea what you have there. Hang on to that. You're talking these stones? Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, Intrepid, a uh, very uh, detail-oriented uh, member of our chat, Eric, says that Perry opened a box, was opening a box uh, from Amazon right before Santa showed up but never got around to showing what it was. Yes. Can we get back to the box that you were opening before Santa showed up and we'll make that the last mailbag? Yes. Whatever box you were opening. This. Yeah. From uh, Kuya Rich. I don't know who Merry it's from because we didn't get Perry. to it. Hope you like the uh, presents I sent. Also, you need to get your passport and take a trip to the Philippines. Oh, Jesus. There's a bunch of horny Filipino uh, Filipinos who are uh, dying to meet you. We'll enjoy the holidays, uh, your buddy, Kuya, K-U-Y-A, Rich. Okay. Right, can we see that? It looks like there's a photo this. on the other side of that. And, yeah, I'll leave that there and this. So there's... Can I see the, the note that you just read? It looked like there was a photo on the other side. Yeah, I'm looking at that right now. So I've got... Uh, Merry Christmas 2023. Uh, all these girls here look like Hooter girls. But uh, I'll hold it in the corner and hold that up to you. They all look like a bunch of Hooter girls. Very nice. Okay. I'll set you there. I'll set you there. Come here. I really like the snow effect on this stream. It's subtle, but it actually looks like snow is landing on Barry's uh, pants right now. Kind of fun.
Is there a note with this? No. Hang on. This goes on doesn't it won't it won't stand up in the hole uh, we can figure that out later but what can we see it oh, but nice. this is one of those anime things yeah was there a note you read the note this is all in the same package right yep is there anything else in that box that's it that's it okay all right put that aside we'll uh worry about that another time i'll find a nice place to put her yeah I'm going to set that right there like that. No, no, we're done with mailbag. We're not, what is that? Was that in there? The last okay, all right, thing in the, in the box, yeah. Go ahead, do that. I want no more clothing. I've got more than enough clothing. So stop sending me fucking clothing. Ted Nugent, Cat Scratch Fever. I used to love this album. I used to love this guy, but he's turning into a pain in my ass. But now that uh, I got this t-shirt. Yeah. Love that shirt. Ted Nugent, cat scratch fever. No, 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 no. Cat scratch fever. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. This page in 500 did junk the Corolla. We'll be there to tow and crush the car after Christmas. Bye. Perry, who smoked in your Toyota. We smelled it on our way to see Ghostbusters. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Fucking bullshit. I have a compromised rear arm tattoo. I agree it should not be removed. How about a surgical transfer to Tony? He is a snowboarder, streamer, etc. Nope. nope. Perry, four out of five men say you do the best handle. Let's go see Ghostbusters. Nope. Explain your presidential campaign attempt and your thoughts on gay right? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you are talking about. Fake coma. Fake tracheostomy. Fake heart attack. Real murder of cricket. Real love of Randy and Meat Man. Real but love with John D. Merry Christmas. None of the above is true. Perry, is the meth ready? We can put it in the microwave after we see Ghostbusters. What in the... F I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Is the meth ready? I'm not a drug user or a drug addict or any of that crap, you morons. Gave that shit up 24, it'll be 24 years in a week. Gave it up completely. Cocaine, pot, and any other stupid street drug out there. 
Jackass. I, I I take medication for the problems of my other my other issues. Ugh. I don't have to. Perry Rears has a new product, the Rears Rectum Master 5000 Adult Diaper. It can handle multiple shits without your needing a bathroom break for number two. Not interested. Not interested in... I'm only interested in, 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 in leaving. Thank you for subscribing. Good night. Thank you. Guess who is Parole Friday? Francis, I've missed talking to you. Give Randy my best. Merry Christmas, humanoid, and Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, whatever. Thanks. Excuse me, Perry. Stop saying whatever. I said thanks. No, that's that's a nice one. You can say Merry Christmas. Thank you. Good to see you again. Yeah. You know, get a little bit of personality. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. All the good shit. Thank you. All right. Well, Perry, it's time for your favorite part of the stream. Do a good job. Is there a website for official PCL merch? No, I said do a good job. I'm reading. Do a better job. Visit our website for official PCL merch, com. Access media, share streams, phone calls, and bonus content, patreon.com forward slash pericarabello. Subscribe on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash pericarabello live. Order a cameo, cameo.com forward slash pericarabello. Join our Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash pericarabello. Share your pets on facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PCL pets. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash Pericurable live. Uh, excuse me. Follow us on X at P underscore C underscore L underscore official. Uh, excuse me. And at X at Perry underscore Caravello. Follow us on Instagram at Perry Caravello Live and at Perry Caravello, which I wish I could have back. Follow us on TikTok at Perry Caravello. And if you want to send Perry mail, send the mail to Perry Caravello Live, 18960 Ventura Boulevard, Box 209, Tarzana, California, 91356. Uh, by the way, uh, speaking of Perry's cameo, uh, not too late to order a Christmas cameo, but you got to do the 24-hour deliver, 24 delivery on that. And also, another thing with cameo is uh, it's only going to be around for another week, and then Perry's shutting it down for the month of January. So there's going to be, it's going to go on a little, uh, put the Perry cameo on a snooze for the month of January. So it's... Uh, and I'm not going on a stupid cruise either for the month of January. No, that's not January, Perry. That's uh, March that you're going on the cruise with Bob. I'm not going on a cruise in March. Uh, that also, isn't going to happen. Uh, well, take that up with Bob. He bought the tickets. Also, uh, the next stream is the final stream of the year uh, before our hiatus. That is, of course, a week from today, Sunday, the 31st. It says 7 p.m. It might be a little earlier uh, for PCL New Year's Bop and Eve. And there might be the possibility, I'm not guaranteeing it, there might be the possibility of a little pop-up stream, maybe Saturday, maybe Friday. There's not going to be a lot of notice about it. Uh, if you follow on, you know, Twitch or YouTube, you know, hit the notification bell so you're notified when uh, Perry goes live, okay? Uh, because we're I'm not going to announce it. It's just going to come up, all right? Uh, get your last uh, bits of Perry in now. And also, uh, Jim wanted me to remind you that the uh, raffle for Perry's uh, vehicle will be going on until the end of the raffle. year, the 31st. Raffle my ass. At midnight, I think the raffle... Raffle my ass. Well, Perry, he's... 
Cars not for sale or a raffle, moron. Well, it's, good, good day. No, no, hey, don't touch anything, Perry. It says it right here. Look. I don't give a fuck what your moronic shit says. Yeah. See, Ciao. raffle for Perry's car. Bye. Raffle for good Perry's car. It's on now. Life. Perry, by the way, so, Perry, you got to uh, get the shop vac out. That was part of the deal. You got to shop vac those marbles. So uh, the quicker we get that done, the quicker you can get in the shower. Shop vac those marbles and a little bit of the snow. You don't have to do. You don't have to do a thorough job, but we at least got to see the shop vac. Come on, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody in Australia. I know it's Christmas Day there right now, or wherever you are watching this. Merry Christmas to you and your family. We'll get a little uh, shop vac bonus. I was going for the old rage quit there, and then I realized, why do that when we can get a shop vac? You gonna let Bob use the shop vac when he comes? No. It's fucking monstrous item in front of me called the fucking Scrooge is in my freaking well, way. We can do something with uh, the Grinch uh, after next week. And by the way, save that Kenny board, please. Don't throw that away. <laughs> Move the chair out of the way. Perry, can you move the chair out of the way? We can't see any of this. God, you're a terrible cinematographer. What? We can't see any of this. The chair is in the way. I asked you to move the chair. You don't have to get every last one. Let's just get, you know. Boy, what a great, what a great upgrade we've had this year in the shop back. What can we upgrade next year? Hold. I'll be right back. Maybe we'll upgrade the host to Perry Robovello. Perry went to P, I believe. Seriously, everybody, uh, I hope everybody has a great uh, Christmas. Uh, I know it's not an easy time of year for everybody, but uh, wherever you are, whatever your situation is, I hope you have a, a nice Christmas. And uh, thanks for spending your Christmas Eve with PCL. And uh, good luck to Santa Claus. Let's give a round of applause to Santa Claus. Uh, he's got a busy day and night ahead of him, and he uh, stopped by here to uh, show us some uh, Christmas cheer. I really thought Santa did a great job and went above and beyond. So a uh, round of applause to Santa Claus. What happened?
What happened? This, this. The hose came off. What time are you going to be at this dinner, Perry? In an hour. Oh. What time am I leaving for that dinner? Yeah. I got to be there by three. I know I'm going to be late, so I'll call yeah, him right you might want to, You might want to get moving.
My good. Yeah, that was above and beyond, Barry. I think that that was fine. That was fine. That was fine. Uh, please leave the Kenny skateboard. Don't throw it away. Where's Santa's scrolls, by the way? Crazy. It'll go in my closet with all my other boards. <laughs> Where's Santa's scrolls? You didn't throw that away, did you? On the floor. All right. All right, Barry. Listen, uh, I, I'm not gonna uh, push any more buttons. Uh, can you look at me when I'm talking? I'm trying to say goodbye. Uh, I want to wish you, Perry, a very Merry Christmas. Please pass along to the Inestos that I say Merry Christmas to all of them. I hope you have a great dinner. And uh, I'm very warmed and touched that you're uh, spending uh, Christmas Eve with family. That was not always the case. And uh, I want to wish everybody on the, since Perry won't do it, I'm going to wish everybody uh, on our staff uh, a very Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to Jim and his family, despite Perry firing you. Uh, Merry Christmas to Garrett uh, and his family. Uh, and of course, uh, Danko and his family, very uh, the unsung heroes, the mods. And a very Merry Christmas to Testicle Tiger, who does uh, yeoman's work out there uh, in the chat. Uh, and really... Uh, does some ass busting in your favor, Perry. That's all your people, Perry. So you should and, and Tony Hawk, of course. Merry Christmas to you and Mrs. Hawk. If it uh, was Tony family. Hawk, it's not even the real Tony Hawk. So well, our, Merry is. Christmas to our Tony Hawk. Our He's not Tony Hawk. Give him his real name. Our. But Tony you say Hawk. his real name, then I'll agree with you. Otherwise, it's all bullshit. Merry Christmas to our Tony Hawk. All right, uh, Perry, at any point, do you want to come back and, and say goodbye, or do you just want to dart into the kitchen and extend this further? Thank you all for coming on my stream. And uh, we'll see uh, you sometime later in the week. What? Tell them that we'll see them sometime later in the week, maybe before New Year's, if not definitely on New Year's. If you don't see me before New Year's, you'll see me on New Year's. Because right now my back is killing me. I need to put my belt on. Yeah, and by the way, anybody who sent oh. in a tip comment after we after the plugs, uh, we'll play them on the next stream. Same with super chats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you blow a kiss or something? Say Merry Christmas to everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ciao. Bye.
Christmas, yeah, Jagos.